Why is it playing this song again? What happened? What? Uh, uh. All right. So, so what happened was I was setting up the stream. What's up, guys? And I did that by accident. Cock. <laughs> I did that by accident, and a bunch of you posted bungalepsies, and I was like, all right, you know what? They want to be dicks? Let's go. I was like, all right, I saw the bungalepsies, and I was like, okay, you want you want bungalepsy? Let's do bungalepsy. You want it? You want it? <laughs> if it was an accident, I, I, I did it, it did in, unintentionally, and then you guys started flipping out. And I was like, all right, shit, let's run with that. Okay. You want bungalepsy? I'll give you bungalepsy. You know what my favorite part was? Somebody posted that at one point, because, dude, that shit started sounding, like, really upsetting. I had, like, eight tabs open, all, like, slightly offset from each other. At one point, somebody in chat posted that, uh, that emote. Of uh, Willem Dafoe looking up terrified. Wait, I don't. I forgot what movie that's from. What movie is that from? Where Willem Willem Dafoe looks. That's from Platoon. That's it. That's him, right? That is him. Yeah, he posted that. <laughs> that that's such a good, that's such a good emote, dude. Uh, oh, she what's up, dude. Good to see you tonight, ma'am. Um. Uh, it's from Antichrist. Is it from Antichrist? Yeah, that makes sense. That would be from Antichrist. Um. Yeah, somebody posted that, and I was like, yeah, "This I have to." Keep. And when I saw that emote, I was like, "I have to double down. I have to. I have to open more tabs. Like, let's get that person to the absolute, like, the absolute edge of sanity. Like, let's do it. You know, like, let's." <laughs> Mike, your other monitor appears to have weird burning on it. That's a TV. That's normal. Wait, don't you all have the ass to ass guy from Re Requiem for a Dream burned into your televisions? I don't understand. Isn't that normal? Isn't doesn't doesn't everybody have that? Isn't that going on in everyone's television? Isn't it? Isn't. Anyway, gotta thank a few people here. Wait, no, the song just does that, right? Like that's normal. Guys, I wasn't trying to. Did you hear that? Yeah, I didn't do. No, I didn't do that. Like, I didn't do that. He ruined his brain. I did. Um, Let me thank these people who are supporting the channel over here. Uh, We got Hakusha uh, and Freddy Shitters. Thank you for your resubs. Peaceful Autistic. Thanks for the five gifted. Um, We got Carl. And Sleep Zero and Weevil Green Paladin with the resubs. You guys are awesome. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Fecal Filiac with the gift. You know I love you, man. Thank you so much. Uh, Balance Hero, uh, Damarung, Rana Calicilia, and Lumi the Fecal Gremlin. Thanks for the uh, the resubs, guys. Rana, joining the Year Boy Club. Enjoy your. Um, I think at a I, I think at a year you get the uh, the rainbow mask, right? What is that? I don't even remember how I did that. I don't, who cares? Whatever. Enjoy the badge. We're going to have to add new badges eventually because that's how long I've been doing this shit, which is wild. Uh, Lumi, the fecal gremlin, uh, fecal flower. Guys, thanks for the resubs. I love that you people are leaving your names like that. <laughs> that's so, you, know, you can change it back now, right? You shouldn't, but you can. Uh, you're doing the right thing. Uh, fecal filiac with some bits here. Funky ghost, fecal gambit. Meatball Demon, uh, thanks for the resubs, guys. In fact, Meatball Demon, Fresh Freak, we're gonna need some dumpies. Pleco with his bits, thank you. Swordmaster, Theo the Zombie, Protein Farts. That's a new one, I don't remember. They're not new, apparently, I just never noticed that name, which just seems unlikely. It's pretty upsetting, but thanks for the resubs, guys. Uh, Nibrak the Poop Feaster, I hope you came hungry tonight, bud, because we got some garbage. Uh, on offer here tonight, bud. Hope you came real fucking hungry, bud. Uh, Jackalope Jinx. 
with the five gifted. Thank you so much, man. Keeping the lights on over here. Uh, and Punk Rock Cock. Thanks for the nine months. Uh, Kuro Kabi with the, the uh, resub. Thank you, guys. Chrono Logs with the five gifted. You're a fucking legend. Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much. Uh, Bass Reflux. Bass Space. Uh, thanks for the 21 months, bud. Snooping Asu. Siggy Q. Uh, thanks for the resubs. Game Machine. Cherry Fresh fucking Freak. Let's get tons of dumpies in here for all the gifted subs and the fresh, f fresh fucking freakers. Thank you so much. And True Blue Venue, thanks for 85 fucking months. Holy shit. Guys, thank you so much for all the freaking support. Holy shit. Um, you guys are insane. Thank you so much, everybody. Shit, what just happened? Dropped a toothpick, I think. Something. All right, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll worry about it later. You absolute freaks. Thank you so much for all the support. Tonight, we're going to watch... Uh, the Bean movie? What? Killer Bean Forever. Which was uploaded to YouTube five years ago. Uh, I had never seen it. Apparently, it's... It's where, it's where Dies of Cringe comes from. And I've been seeing clips of this film for actually... A really long time. Um, if any of you guys are on Twitter, which... I mean, God help you if you are. Um... Again, Twitter. What a failure it was changing the name of it. No, and I no one calls it X. Like that was the, the least successful rebrand of all time. Like everyone is completely ignoring him. Like, it's, like everybody, there was there was just a massive consensus where everybody was like, "No, that's stupid. We're not calling it that." You know, I mean, again, what a horrible branding decision. He took a globe, an instantly recognizable global brand and turned it into a, a letter of the alphabet. Like, what a penis. Anyway, I don't want to talk about him. I want to talk about the fact that you'll often see, like, viral tweets of these characters, like, breakdancing with uh, really upsetting text over the, over the front of it. Like, you guys ever see that shit? Like I remember, I, I watched one of these videos. It was it was the, all those characters, the beans dancing, and for some re to music, and then for some reason over it, it was telling you about all the ways that the American government spies on its citizens, in like real specific detail about different kinds of like, um, you know, like internet protocols and stuff that they use. Like you'd only understand it if you were in tech, probably, y you know. But it's like it was it was like legitimately terrifying, and I was like, man, the vibes here are very weird because the music I'm hearing and these fucking dancing beans is running like incongruous to the shit I'm reading right now, and it's 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 really actually fucking with me. But it's it's funny at the same time. It's Mike, the U.S. government would never do that. Okay, <laughs> I know you're joking. Uh. I want to thank a couple more people here before I forget. Uh, Storm7951, uh, thank you for the resub. Fecophiliac with the gift. She Seraph, thanks for four months. Additive Interds and Gridline, thank you for your resubs. And Filiac, thanks. Well, more bits from Filiac. Thanks, buddy. Uh, unironically, he's calling somebody Filiac. They do it so internet users will actually read it. Yeah, but I mean, like, I did read it. Like, I saw the dancing beans, and I was like, what the fuck? And then I started reading it. I watched the whole thing. It was like four and a half minutes of all this shit. And I didn't understand any of it. I mean, all I got, I got out of it was that, you know, the government spies on, spies on its citizens, which I knew already. But it's saying things like... There was a line in there that blew my fucking mind. If, if you're a person of interest... The fucking NSA will intercept if and, and you order say you order like a laptop off the internet, the NSA will intercept it, bug the fuck out of it, and put it back in the mail. <laughs> like you can find like people have found these things. Uh Root Brittany, first time chatter, everybody say hi. Did you ever swallow that stick? Not yet. Could happen any minute though, stay tuned. Oh, uh, we got Sea Dog Driftwood, uh, Kudo Kero, thank you for the resubs, and Captus with the gift sub to Feces Sunday. Yummy. I don't know, maybe, uh, 
I don't know, check your fucking shit for bugs if you're paranoid. I mean, there's, you know, you could, there's like bug detectors. They exist. I've seen that shit. Um, Rousedower says they will Google tailored access operations. Rousedower's like, Rousedower's like fucking, uh, what, uh, Rusty Shackleford over here. He's, uh, <laughs> Google that shit. Seriously. It's real. Uh, Suzumar Poopy Anal Discharge. Thank you so much for the, uh, the resubs, guys. Uh, that explains the tech issues. I, let me put it this way. If I'm a fucking person of interest, I mean, I know you guys fucking don't know how to make appropriate use of taxpayer funds, but holy fucking shit. Like, you guys gotta get your fucking shit together if I'm a person of interest. That's fucking sad. Okay, like, like, seriously. Like, honestly, like... We also got... Supreme Nerd 42, Blushing Kenzie, and Garfinks. Thank you for the resubs, guys. Might the NSA already bugged your shit? How do you think the silverfish appeared? The silverfish is... In fact, it's like birds aren't real, right? Silverfish aren't real. They're little, they're little uh, surveillance robots. Mike, what's with the toothpick? The toothpick is flavored like penis, which it kind of keeps me calm. You know, it's, it's like having a pacifier, right? It's just, I, 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 I like chewing on it, all right? It's, a, it's like a, it's like a, I don't know, ADHD stimming thing. It's, a, it's fuck, it's just, I like, I like chewing on toothpicks. It's good for, it feels good. Helps, it helps the juices flow, you know? What juice? I don't know. Just, just the juices. Okay. Don't you don't need to be. We don't need to be specific about what kinds of juices. Okay. Just know which juices are flowing. All right. That's the important part. Mike, I recommended your channel to my friend on an unrelated note. He happens to be getting a job at the NSA. I, I listen. Some streamers are absolutely getting monitored by the government. We know who they are. I'm not one of them. Again, I shouldn't fucking be one of them, okay? I legitimately shouldn't be one of them. Okay? Because that's stupid. It's really, I, I, my, my, my fucking FBI agent is hearing this. I, I, what are you doing? Come on. Because, you know what? Some people should be fucking monitored. You, you, t stop monitoring me and monitor some fucking freak. You wait, This is a waste of fucking money. Kofi, thanks for... Oh, Kofi. Blah, 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 blah. Emo Duck, thank you for the fucking uh, Kofi donation. Thank you. Twink Link is a psyop. Seriously, it's a waste of fucking money. You're wasting my tax dollars. I right, seriously, you just you're not. Gonna, I'm not up to anything interesting. I promise. All right, take my word for it. <laughs> The IRS, on the other hand, maybe might be interested. No, no, it's not funny. Um, if the FBI is watching you, they better be fucking laughing. Yeah, I mean, I hope they're having a good time. You know, I'm being hate watched by by an FBI agent. Like he's just sitting there, stone faced, like I'm making all these poop jokes. He's not laughing at them. He's just sitting there. Occasionally, he types in chat. He puts like a Keck W or something in chat. You know, just to pretend. It's like that. It's like that image. Hold on. Let me see. I'm. Like, it's. Where is it? I can't find it. It's not really like this because it would imply I'm also a Fed. But you ever see the meme? Where it's like an NSA agent and an FBI guy, like, and they're pretending to be, and they're calling each other, like, Discord kitten and shit. And they're, like, trying to honeypot each other or whatever on Discord. They don't know who the other guy is. <laughs> and one of them, like, has cat ears on. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. This is what streams are going to be like from now on going forward forever. Okay, happy Easter. This is what this this is the future of Jabroni Mike streams.
bunny fursona. No, it's just rabbit ears. It's not a fursona. Might I ask why? I want you to guess why. I hope you wrote that off as a business purchase. What a dumb fucking thing to say. Of course I wrote it off as a business purchase. Of course it's a business expense. Yes, come on. Or should I say business expense? All right, guys, let's hop to it. Um, stupid. That's not, no, don't. It's all, don't, somebody actually plus two that shit, which you really shouldn't have. Because that, that's bananas. Are you going to decorate eggs on stream money? No. No, this, this is, this is me being festive. Like, this is it. This is the absolute limit to how festive I get for this holiday. Did you buy the matching butt plug? No. <clears throat> anyway, um... Joe Bunny Mike. Hi, Bun Time. Uh, so what the fuck uh, was I trying to say? Oh. The old Peter Cottontail. I had a funny story for you guys. I, actually, I don't know if some of you are going to find this funny. I think some of you are going to sweat for all at this, but I found it funny. So the other day, I was wearing this yesterday. I was wearing this, this hoodie, okay. And, okay, first of all, I but, but let, let me preempt like the concern, the concern trolling stuff. I occasionally smoke cigars. It's a very rare thing, okay. Uh, maybe like once a month or something. Okay, I like them. All right. That's how it is. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm straight up, I, I don't, let's all be adults about this. You should stop. I told you, I didn't want you to concern troll me. Don't fucking do that. Okay, don't do that. Okay, Mike smokes cigars like he smokes cock, yep, come. <laughs> Guys, listen, sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. But not this time. Okay, so. Guys, they're little fucking, they're little like bitch cigars that, you know, I did. They, they're gone in like fucking five minutes. I do it like once a month. You, you gotta fucking chill. All right. Costs like $4. Really, like that's it. I have a drink with the cigar. I enjoy fucking life for like fucking 10 minutes. Okay. Right, and then I fucking come back here and do this shit. All right, sometimes a man's got to unwind, okay? A lot of you guys don't, okay, listen, chat doesn't get it. No, chat's not going to get it. They're going to freak out. They're going to be worried about me. It's just, again, I'm fucking 38, okay? I'm a 38-year-old man, okay? I can smoke a cigar if I want to, okay? And again, it's super rare. All right. So I went into the cigar store and you know how a lot of cigar stores have like a little area where like dudes can just sit and smoke in there. Like I call it like the wife bedroom because that's where like these dudes are basically escaping their wives to go sit there and smoke cigars. And talk with the talk with each other like how much th their wives suck. The divorced dad lounge. Yeah, yeah, there's that. So in this cigar store that I went to, you have to walk through that room to get to like the humidor section. And why would we know that we don't smoke cancer sticks? Because I'm fucking. T well, I'm telling you now. Now you know. Some of you know this. Now, if you didn't know this, now you know this. There's a room. Where you could smoke cigars in there. Like you buy them, you go sit, you smoke them. Some some of these dudes will sit in there like for hours. Again, usually there's a TV, they put sports on and shit, you know. For me, it's like I go to a bar. Like, you know, I mean. 
whatever. You know, you can't smoke inside at bars, right? That's the thing. But these places let you smoke inside, I guess. So I go in there, and the wife bed dudes are, are sitting in there. And I, I was wearing this hoodie, and I walk past them. And I was wearing, like, some, like, like sweatpants, and I guess the elastic was a little loose. So they were, like, you know, they were kind of sagging a little bit. Like, they were... Like, maybe these guys saw, like, a sliver of, of, of like, my boxers, you know? And these, 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 like, four old, like, fat guys in, like, their fucking, like, in, like, their 60s, right? And I'm buying my, I'm, like, picking out the cigar and everything, and I'm going, going up to the register and everything. And some guy, and one of them is like, hey, look, it's the fucking cookie monster. And I hear it, and I just ignore it. I'm like, don't fuck with these guys, don't fuck. It's not worth it. Don't say anything. And then they laugh. Look, it's the fuck a cookie monster. And then they go, <laughs> right? And then the other the other guy goes, they give him a cookie. <laughs> and then the third guy goes, yeah, how about we uh, we pants him and fuck him in the ass? And then there's like a second of silence. Yeah, I swear to God, I heard this. I swear to God, this happened. I swear to God. I swear to God. Like, I got, like, catcalled or something. Like, I got, like, objectified. There's, like, a second of silence while they were all like, wait, what? And then they went, <laughs> anyway? Right? And I'm like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. And then I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm like, I, like, swiftly leave. A part of me is like internally laughing at this, but then the other part is like, I if I laugh out loud, what are they gonna do? Like, are they gonna get pissed off and wife bad me? Like, what's gonna happen? You know, I was like, let me just get, let me just get the fuck out of here. You know, because you know my sense of humor, right? You know, I, Mike, don't drop the cigar. They were like, let's fuck him in the ass, and I was like, wait, what? So, I'm walking out, and then I, I hear something like, one of the other guys said something like, Yeah, I'll feed him some cookies while you fuck him. <laughs> They're like, let's, let's go ass, let's make him go ass to ass. It was like that. No, it was like that. I was objectified. I was. I was objectified by the wife bad guys while they were smoking cigars. <laughs> And wait, is this not a bit? I'm not making up any of this. I'm not making up any any aspect of this in any way, shape, or form. It was like a bet to see what they could get away with, with saying. I, I I mean like, yeah, I they definitely knew I was in earshot. They wanted me to hear that shit, you know. Like absolutely. It wasn't a question. It wasn't like, oh, they were they were a little too loud. Like, oh no. The fun was making me hear that. Just guys being dudes. So anyway, that was an experience of a thing that happened to me in my life. And here's another experience of a thing that's happening to me in my life right now. Um, assassinating the YouTube chat. Let's see. Let, let's, let's see what they're saying in there. So I can justify killing it let me see if let me see what you guys are saying in here i can't believe mike is destroying his lungs see they're concerned trolling here because they know i'm not going to see it look at this Yeah, now I'm fucking reading your shit. You guys are fucking caught. Listen to this guy. Age, tolerance, whatever. Addicts will claim moderation to which there is none. I can stop any time is such a common trope among addicts. Mike's eventual relapse is approaching.
You like that? He said, hell yeah, a shout out. Hey, man, don't you think that's a little fucked up to say that? Like, does, does any part of you feel like that's a fucked up thing to say? I just want to... At all? In any in any way? Shape? Does any part of you have any kind of pause? When you put that sentence together in your head and you typed that out, did any part of you in any way say to yourself, man, maybe this isn't like a cool thing to say. Like maybe this is, maybe this is like rude or hurtful or was it, did that any of that occur to you? I'm just curious like, while, while we're doing this, while you, while I have your attention. They, okay, they said, I am concerned about your delusions. Okay, that's not what I fucking asked you, though. Did you hear what I asked you? Can you ban people from YouTube chat? Can you even do that? Hold on, let me see this. You could put them in a timeout. You can remove them. Hide user on this channel. Ed is moderator. Okay, you know what? The, honestly, the biggest punishment I could give to this person is to make them a moderator of the YouTube chat and then just leave it open. The biggest... The, <laughs> that's the worst punishment I could fucking imagine. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Why not? Mod that guy. Don't make me mod. I'm, be I'm begging you. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Can you stop being a fucking dick? And maybe, maybe I'll think about it. All right. But if you're still being a dick. All right. I'm fucking modding you. They never answered me, by the way. I, I think they just probably, they're, the person probably just has no fucking empathy. They're probably some kind of a fucking sociopath. Hold on a minute. Uh, Mike, you're too nice. Ban them. Well, I mean, like, uh, killing the YouTube chat is, is is as good as banning them. Which, guess what? That's still happening. Like, we're still we're still doing that. Like, I'm still killing this chat. Okay. I mean, that was happening regardless, so. I mean, now you can be a penis to nobody, to a fuck. You can be a dick to a wall now. Mike's relapse is approaching. That is fucking... That is so fucked up, man. Holy Christ. Dear Lord. It was fun while it lasted, frogs. I'll tell you what. Just come here. Okay? Just come to the Twitch chat. Well, who cares? What is the pro... Why not? Just do it. Who gives a shit? Just do it. Fuck Twitch chat. Why? Who cares? Because they're banned in here. Oh, well, that probably makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that probably... That, that's... That's the exile from Twitch chat, isn't it? The frog chat. It, it's, the, it's the fucking Twitch eg exile. Which is why we have to kill it. I'll tell you what, one day in the future, I will consider not turning it off. But we got to find somebody to sit in there and moderate it. Right. Uh, Space Case, thanks for uh, for two months support. You know, we got to get someone to moderate it. Um. And again, like, I'm kind of not supposed... I'm still not going to look at it. Because number one, I'm not supposed to look at it according to uh, YouTube's uh, fuck, uh, Twitch's TOS. And they don't want me like, you know, sending people there or interacting with it. And secondly, again, yeah, it's 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 funneling people away from here. It's probably not good to do that. So it's, you know, all that shit. Um, there's a lot of reasons for it. Uh, why do you even enable it? Well, I... I, I don't. I turn it off at the beginning of every stream. This time I kind of forgot. So. Um, guys, this movie is called Killer Bean Forever. 
Uh, it, again, it's where Dies of Cringe comes from, lives from Based, which is basically Dies of Cringe in reverse. Um, didn't the Killer Bean creator work on The Matrix and the first X-Men movie? I don't know anything about it. Meta Yoritoshi, thanks for the two years of support, but I really appreciate it. I got the streams to be even on two tabs. That's the best. Th Honestly, that's the best thing you could do for me. Open both tabs. You want to help a dude out? Open both tabs. It's stupid as fuck, but it's the bed. It's going to be the, the 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 most benefit to me is that. Um. Apparently, and this was Mountain Dew who tur turned me on to this. He was like, "Yo, check you got to check out this Bean movie on stream one night." He said, "There's there's a bit of a rabbit hole to it." Right, so I mean, I don't know what the resource is. I'm gonna type in the story of the uh, Killer Bean movie and see if it. Okay, uh, well, it's giving me the plot, but I guess what I actually want is the story behind it. Right, maybe we look at good old Wikipedia. Mike, apparently this guy worked on it for ten years. D -d -d no. It, it looks like food fight. Suck Lord. Thanks for six months, man. Hi, Mike. I like your ears. Yeah. Uh, it's I, Again, I have I have four ears now. Like, I'm, I'm hearing shit down the block. Milimerde. Thanks for 25 months. His name is Jeff Liu. Uh... Okay, so the concept for Killer Bean came in a short produced by Jeff Liu in 1996 entitled The Killer Bean, The Interrogation, which was later called Killer Bean 1. Jeff Liu, L-E-W, uh, intended this short only to teach himself animation. And it only received about 3,000 hits, I guess you put it on YouTube. In 1996, though, did YouTube exist yet? Did... Uh, Qatar's. Thanks for six months, man. No. So I got 3,000 hits. Where? Anyway, after practicing animation for about two years, Lou started work on The Killer Bean 2, The Party, a seven-minute short. The Killer Bean 2 took about three years to create and was released on iFilm in 2000. In about six months, it re received about a million views, which was significant before YouTube. Yeah, there you go. Crazy. Yeah, that's wild. Uh, a later edit, Killer Bean 2.1, was uploaded to Div X in 2004. I never even heard of that shit. Killer Bean 2.1 was also later uploaded to YouTube in 2009 which has since gained more than 4 million views. 1 million views back then is insane. People, most people didn't even know you could watch videos on the internet back then. <laughs> you know, like that's... Uh, after receiving various calls from movie producers uh, that never developed, Lou decided to make a full feature film himself. The first rough draft of the screenplay took five months. Pre-visualization took about one and a half years. One mistake Lou regretted was not making the concept art before the pre-visualization, which meant that many of the pre-vis shots could not be reused for final animation. I don't know what the fuck that means. I might not have to know what that means. Lou then posted an ad on Craigslist for voices and auditioned 20 people and cast four. The concept artist for the characters was uh, Von C. Caberte. By July 2005, all pre-production was completed. Um, the film took about five years to create with one and a half years in pre-production. How is nobody posting J. Mike Noted? This is the perfect opportunity to post that emote. Where is it? This is what that emote's for. I know you guys aren't fucking even absorbing a syllable of what I'm saying right now. 
I'm not. That's how that's how I know that you're not because I'm not. The film took five years to create with one and a half years in pre-production and three years in animation. It had approximately a thousand animated shots. Generally, animators are given one to four weeks to complete one shot. Thus, to create a thousand shots would have taken 20 years. I mean, back then, they're saying, right? Lou used an inexpensive 2D motion capture system to speed up animation, primarily with lip sync. What, like rotoscoping? Is that what... 2D motion capture system. Uh, during this time, Lou also worked as an animator on major Hollywood productions, including The Matrix Reloaded and X-Men. Yeah, there it is. Um, it's like sh the mocap, like the shit with the ping pong balls. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in 2008, the rights to Killer Bean Forever were acquired by Cinema Management Group, and the film was screened for buyers at the Toronto Film Festival. It was released on DVD in 2009. In 2018, it was uploaded to YouTube in its entirety in 4K resolution, gaining over 50 million views. As of July 2023. It's right now sitting at 58 million views. And uh, we're going to add another one tonight. Um, and it looks like it's not very good according to the uh, critical uh, uh, reviews here. Um, but you know what? Critics are idiots. I mean, we're going to find out on our own. But generally, like, critics are stupid. Um, They're useless. I, I, we've talked about this. Critics are fucking useless in today's society, the way things work. You, you, we're our own critics now. We don't need critics in it. Critics are a fucking dying breed. They're utterly useless. They don't, we don't need them. Okay? Ever, ever since the internet, honestly, critics are, have been obsoleted. Critics are always wrong. A lot of the times they're fucking wrong. And a lot of the times they're fucking losers. We all know who I'm talking about. No, it's not red letter media. I honestly don't even consider red letter media critics. I consider them like... How do I explain this? Drunk guys. Okay. <laughs> Like they're just they're just dudes, right? I, I, you you know why I don't consider red letter media critics because to call them that would insult them. There's so much more than that, you know what I mean? Like they make content, they make you know they fucking because you like them. Yeah, uh, well be, because I would say that. Okay, here's the here's the here's the fucking difference. Here's the actual difference between somebody like red letter media and somebody like Hackney Fraud Tano. Okay? Red Letter Media adds something of value to the fucking world. Hackney Fraud Tano does not do that. Right? Like, you can watch a, 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 a fucking, you know, Red Letter Media video and, and laugh and see some fucking funny shit and have a good time and enjoy yourself. And you could watch, you know, the other guy's shit and just see some whiny cuck. You know, fucking bitching about, you know, trying to fu trying to fucking convince you that he's a good person because, you know, he thinks racism is bad. <laughs> fucking loser. Fucking stupid cunt. Fucking waste of oxygen. Okay, so yeah, we all think racism's bad, dick. You're not you're not special. Wow, what a good take, King. Yeah. Fucking penis. Alright, so let's not get too far into the weeds here. Uh, fucking bald cuck. Um, let's take a look at uh, some of the other stuff we got up on the menu. We got Killer Bean Forever. Right? Really cool uh, stuff. Um, Killer Bean Forever 4K official full movie. I, do you, you know what? Let's... I'm going to start the movie... At about 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm not ready to start the movie. I want to I just 
I want to hang out, just chat a little bit more before we dive in. Apparently, a game is being made right now. Right? Yeah, you'll be entertained by Red Letter Media on, like, you know, other stuff. Uh, Mike, why did we ban the word promise? The word promise is banned? Troll Gaming 3412, thank you for coming to check out the channel. Why is a man wearing bunny ears? You joyless pieces of shit. Because it's fucking Easter. It's an Easter thing. Are, are you guys kidding me? Wait, you think... You, you have, most of you fucking don't, don't even... You, you just see it as tink shit. You see it as some kind of fucking... It's a fursona or it's a, it's, a, it's a fucking fetish thing or some shit. Guys, it's because Easter. Are you kidding me? Come on. Is it Easter already? What's up, Mopey? Sunday. It's fun. I'm having fun. It's a fucking holiday, you cocks. All right. So, chat wants us. We, th th here's the thing. Let me let me look at the Buru real quick. I want to see if we got some. Yeah, there's a couple. We we could do. You know what? I would prefer to do the media share on like honestly Friday or something. I don't want to do it right now. We'll let that pile up a little bit. Here's what I think we should do right now. I think we should do, um, I, I'm being asked why we have so many bizarre words on the ban list right now. Maybe we need to do a little review of the banned words, go over why they're banned, and kind of relitigate, maybe take a look at some of it, see if some of the things got uh, can be taken off the ban list at this time. Right, so let's uh, do that. Uh, I kind of don't remember how to do that. Moderation settings. Does anybody remember how to do this shit? Alert analytics community. Um, settings, moderation. Okay. Uh, blocked terms and phrases. Yeah, we're, we're overdue for this. Uh, I, I, absolutely. We're overdue for this. Uh, let's go all the way. Oh my God, there's so many. <laughs> all right, so some of these. All right, let me let's 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 uh, let's buckle in for this because I think we're we're gonna be here a little while. Uh, shit. Some of these are people's names. Like, there's a couple of names in here that. I know if I say the name out loud right now, uh, it would cause problems. You know, people would sweat frog. People would, it would, people would argue, would start fighting about it and stuff. You know, like there's some names in here. Uh, Vex Radiolaria, thanks for four months. Thank you. Mom found the poop sock. It's, it's, listen, that's rough. We've all been there. You're going to get through it, bud. I promise. All right? This, this, does, this doesn't mean you stop shitting in socks. Okay, if anything, this is a time to double down on the sock shitting. Don't let that discourage you, okay? Yeah, she's going to find the poop sock. It's going to happen. But you know what? You you got to just keep on keeping on. You got to stay on that. Get 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 right back up on the Bronco and keep going. All right? Can't keep a good sock shitter down. Can't do it. Many have tried. All right? Um. So there's a couple of names. I won't say them. Some of the names are not controversial. Here's what you got to understand about this chat room, right? And, and here's my moderation philosophy at this time. We, we don't, again, the, the, our number one goal at any fucking moment is to stop annoying bullshit from happening in this chat room. That's always what we're trying to do. We're trying to stop arguments. We're trying to stop people fighting. We're trying to stop fucking people getting upset at something that they're fucking seeing in the chat room. Orthogonal caster, thanks for 33 months. It's never our goal is to censor your opinion because we don't agree with it or something like that. You got to understand that, right? Frankie K with the fat fucking testicles and the big fat raid. Thank you so much, bud. Love you, man. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, Frankie, I 
I sent you some DMs that I want you to take a look at. One of them is my penis. So I'll take a look at that when you can. Let me know what you think. Um. We're currently... Uh, can we get a shout out for Fred, guys? Mods, we're, we're currently going over my banned words list and trying to figure out... Um, if some of the things should be removed off the list, if you know enough time has passed, am I gonna go to TMG this year? Uh, most likely, is my answer to you. It's looking actually likely that I will be there. So yeah, but I mean, I don't think you should come based because I'm going. Like go because you want to go. Like I don't think you should do that. I don't think you should decide whether or not you're gonna go to a con because somebody, some creator you like, is gonna be there. Because I might not even see you. The whole time you're there. So don't do not do that. You know, I don't think you... I don't think anybody should be doing that. Go because it's a cool con. Right? Um, also, hold up. I want to thank a few people here. Uh, looks like I missed Jacoby, Katars, Vex Radio, Laria, Orthogonal Caster, Fred, and Queen Tiefling. Thanks for the resubs, guys. Um... So yeah, but what I'm trying to say is we're, we're never trying to, it, it's not censorship because we don't, you know, agree with you politically or whatever the fuck it is. Because a lot of this shit is either, it's either political in nature or it has the potential to quickly become political in nature if it's discussed at all. Because again, a lot of this, a lot of it's this too. I'm going to say the, the overwhelming majority of people existing on the internet today are so fucking politically brain rotted that like you can't even mention something without an argument happening and i'm see and i'm and i'm fucking and i and i lament that like i think that sucks i don't fucking like that i don't think it should be that way i fucking hate it okay and i think there's a philosophy of moderation it's a very interesting conversation okay you're gonna fucking sit there and be like i want to hear about how the sausage is made Dang! well guess what it's an interesting conversation to me it's an interesting topic. That's why I'm talking about it. So don't do that shit. Right? Just the 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 idea that like certain things, you know, there's a moderation philosophy where you just let the arguments happen. And then they just, you know, like, or you, you, you talk to your community like the way that you want to. You know, and then that and then that kind of just the community just kind of coalesces around that. Um, but for me, it always sort of felt like um, I'm not a very political person and, you know, like nothing pisses me off. Like when I look, let me tell you uh, something that really fucking pisses me off. I look at fucking chat and I see a fucking argument and I could tell they're not paying attention to me. Guess what? This is my Twitch channel. I want all the attention all the fucking time. Okay. Don't you dare fucking argue. You shut the fuck up and you pay attention to what I'm saying and what I'm doing. Okay? Yeah. That shit, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Does that make me narcissistic? Maybe. So fucking be it. It's my fucking channel. You pay attention to what I'm saying and what I'm doing. The Tommy Tallarico. You know, that, that fucking Tommy Tallarico thing pissed me off so fucking bad because there shouldn't be anything fucking political about it. Tommy Tallarico is, 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 a, is a penis. Obviously, he's a fucking penis. How the fuck are you going to... It's, it's an open and shut fucking case. There was no reason to fucking argue about it. And me and Fred were fucking watching that thing. We were having a great time laughing at this clown, making jokes about it. All right? And I, I'm fucking looking at chat, and I'm seeing these assholes arguing, and it's like... And then they were told to stop, too. This is the part that really pissed me off. They were warned, like, three times to stop, and then kept and kept fucking doing it. They kept fucking doing it. They were arguing about H bomber guy. And here's what I'm saying. Instead of it letting get to a point where we have to ban five people, let's just put the guy's name on the ban list. Yeah, Wisp, you told them to stop, and then I fucking told them to- I told them to stop! I had to stop what I was fucking saying, stop talking to Fred, stop looking at the fucking video, so I could tell these assholes to stop, and then they- and then they kept- they still kept arguing afterwards.
Because, you know, at that point, it's like disrupting the stream, right? And I know some of you are going to say like, oh, yo, ignore that shit, right? It's a fucking wall of arguing. It was like every time I looked at chat for like over the span of 10 minutes, I saw these two assholes fucking adding each other with paragraphs. How am I going to ignore that, guys? You know, so that's what we do. You know what I mean? And I, again, I lament how fucking brain rotted everybody is. Because it's like, I see, I seen that, that meme, right? Where it's like, I, I, I don't know how to explain it. Where it's like in the corner, it, 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 it's like one of those political alignment charts. And then there's like a tiny thing in the corner where it's just like, it's like everybody who agrees with me. And then the rest of the, and then the rest of the entire fucking graph, it says either like Nazi or communist or something. Because that, because that's how the fuck, that's how, that's modern politics. That, that, I'm not even, I'm not, and I'm not kidding. No, that's not actually how it is, but that's how people's fucking brains work. Is that not how fucking, that's, that is how people's brains work. And it's fucking crazy. And you know what? You could take if the, what you think is like the most benign thing. And it and it, you have people fucking going completely ape shit over it. People fighting. And then people banning people. And, and people have to get banned. And guess what? I don't want to ban people. Banning people is counterproductive to what I'm fucking trying to do here, man. So that's what I'm fucking saying, dude. I'm I'm saying that when, we, here's, here's what it is. When we tell you to stop fucking arguing, stop fucking arguing, okay? And again, we're not banning you because you of, because of your opinion about something. We're probably banning you because you didn't fucking listen to us when we told you to stop. Does that make sense? And then they'll be like, mm, a censorship. No, it's not censorship, dick. It's because we told we probably told you to. We never ban somebody outright. Ever. That's a big part of our moderation policy. We If we see you saying some shit that we know is going to cause problems, we tell you to stop, maybe time you out. It's when you continue doing it, you get banned. So, that, anyway, that I, I got into a fucking tangent. That's the philosophy behind the bans word, words list. Um, For a lot of the things that are on it. Because one day you're going to you, you're gonna type something in there. And you're going to be like, why the fuck can't I say that? And that's your answer why. Unless. 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 Okay. Whatever it is has kind of like annoyed me for some reason in the moment. Right? Which happens sometimes. Right? And you're going to find that it's the majority of the words on the ba on the ban list. Someone is asking me, are you a femboy? I, it, it, why, why would I? Okay, you know what? Why, let, let, why, would I, why would I be a femboy? What? Does my shirt say Hooters? I don't understand. Why would I be? Why are you saying that to me? No, no, I want to hear this shit. No, I want to hear... Put fe, put Femboy on the ban list. Again? Wait, why can't I be a testosterone-filled, jacked, fucking hyper-masculine bunny man? Who loves vagina? Why can't I do that? Is that... What, 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 why can't that exist? Why are you fucking putting... Trying to put me in a box? Why are you trying to put all bunnies in boxes? Why can't that exist? Stop trying to put a bunny in a box. Okay? Now. Get on the box! <laughs> so. 
Yeah, I mean that's and that's the way it is. So let's go through here and take a look at some of the things and 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 figure out what you know what we should maybe consider removing from the ban list. Um, this one's been on here for a long time, uh, and, and I'm skipping the things where like I know why they're on there, and you know they're they're either just slurs or it's like some really really controversial person. Right. So here's one that says next bit. Okay, next bit. The reason that annoys me is because what I, you got to you got to let me fucking cook. Okay, don't, like, let a streamer do what he's fucking doing. Let him, if he's in the fucking zone, okay, then let him just be in the zone. Let him do what he's got to fucking do. If you don't like it, shut the fuck up and get the fuck out. Okay, it's that simple. All right. Don't fucking annoy me. Let me fucking finish what I'm doing. If it sucks, it sucks. All right, shut the fuck up and let me do it. Uphold it. It's an unfunny joke. People parroting jokes thinking, yeah, that's going to make everyone laugh. Well, there's a lot of that on here. Right? So I think next bit will remain on the ban list for the indefinite future. Then we have a character who, a character, not a real life person, but a character who seems to be very divisive. Uh, my understanding is that it's a character from Homestuck, and their name is Vriska. Now, I don't know what the deal is with Vriska. I don't know why people hate Vriska. I don't know why people don't like Vriska. I don't know who Vriska is. I don't know anything about it. But all I know is that whenever it came up, people would start acting really stupid and weird. So we banned it. Um... Wasn't that at Rev's behest? I believe it, it did have something to do with Rev when that word got banned, yeah. Um, keep anything Homestuck banned. Yeah, why does Homestuck turn people into, like, like gibbering fucking savages? Like, what, 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 what is the deal with Homestuck? Why does it make people feral? What is that? Like, I've read some of it. I'm not getting it. I, if you read it, you'd know. I mean, ah, be normal? Be normal? Can you just be normal? What is it about Homestuck that people can't be normal about it? Like, what is it? Homestuck will set off anyone with a mental disorder. You didn't read 4,000 plus pages. I mean, maybe that's why, I mean, like, here, this is a chicken or the egg thing, right? Does reading Homestuck make you insane or do you have to be insane to read Homestuck? Like, is it like, what's the cause and what's the effect? It's both. So it feeds into each other. Like it's a, it's a slippery slope of mental illness. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm going to be checking out Homestuck anytime soon, except for when I have to read it for the Wheel of Punishment. Um, it looks like most of you want me to keep Vriska on here, so I'm going to do it. Here's the next one. Very carefully. Now, very carefully, the phrase very carefully, you're not going to be able to say it. And do you want to know why? This falls firmly under that category of band word where it's a joke that's really not funny and usually pisses me off. Because I'm trying to get, like, actionable information out of this chat room. So, like, let, let's say I'm playing a game, right? I'm, like, I'm playing a video, say I'm streaming a video game, which does happen, assholes, okay? And I'll be like, huh, how do you do that? This is, some mechanic is, is, is a little bit, like, isn't immediately apparent or it's not intuitive at all. And I'm like, huh, how do you do that? You know, how do you make that? happen what if i want to and i look at chat and i'm expecting to see like real answers and then there'll be a bunch of people saying very carefully as if that's funny and not like the dumbest fucking thing you've ever seen 
you've ever seen in your life. Like, it's painfully fucking unfunny. It's, it's dad humor. It's just real. It's like the worst kind of dad humor. Oh, like, Chad, how do I get on the box? How do I get on the box very carefully? I mean, it's very similar to, to like, where is X? And Chatter says, up your ass, king. Really, up your ass should be on that ban list, right? Also, pants grab, Emo. Yeah, pants grab should be, should be banned, obviously. Right? But I haven't. I haven't. I, I'm, I'm actually, I'm going to tell you why. Because both pants grab and up your ass king are both significantly funnier than very carefully. I mean, on our, inarguably, like, it's, that's a that's a big part of the reason why. Yeah, no, really, because very carefully, it's it's just that on funny. Like, oh, how did how do how did dinosaurs fuck very carefully? You're not funny. Um, so that stays. And here's another big one. Who cares? You can't say who cares, in this chat room. You can't say who cares. Hey, Chimera, thanks for checking out the channel. Can I amuse you with a horrifying biology fact? I'm kind of in the middle of something. But if it's going to be about how rabbits eat their own shit, I'm way ahead of you, bud. I ate my own shit before you got here. All right? Now. Don't say who cares to me. If I'm fucking, because you, they'll, they'll, like, I'll be talking about something, anything, and then somebody chat say, who cares? Number one, obviously, I fucking care if I'm talking about it. All right? That's number one. And number two, I'm making content, you penis? Like, when you're listening to, to a, a, a fucking radio show, you're, you're fucking Zoomers, you know? When you guys are listening to, to a podcast, when you're listening to Come Town... Okay, and the come town guys are talking about something. Do you look at the fucking your at your at your phone that you're listening to the podcast on and say, "Who cares?" No, you don't do that. So shut the fuck up. Actually, yes. Well, then you're an asshole and an idiot. Okay. Right when you're listening to a podcast, do you fucking just say, "Who cares"? You know what's, here's what's fucked up about Twitch. The fact that Twitch has a chat room makes people think that they have to use it. I promise you, you have, no, there is no obligation for you to say things in this chat. Feel free to shut the fuck up. It's totally okay. You can, I promise you, it's okay to shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. It's fine. You don't have to say, who cares? Adds nothing to a conversation, bro. All it does is piss me off. That's all it does. Mr. Plant, thank you for 17 months. You are completely free to shut the fuck up. There's no reason for you to not shut the fuck up sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just, That's why who cares is on the ban list. I think that makes sense. It's going to stay on there. The word dumbass is on the ban list because people kept calling me a dumbass and I didn't like it. So I put dumbass on the ban list. That one's relatively straightforward. Um, here's another one very similar to who cares. And it's change the topic. I never want to be told to change the fucking topic. Because if I'm talking about something... I have decided that that's what I want to be talking about. This is my home. We talk about what I fucking want to talk about. Okay, Fecal Bone, thanks for 74 months, buddy. Love you too. All right, and I know what you're thinking. I know I know what you're thinking. You're thinking like, usually if I, if I tell this dude to change the topic, it's because I'm worried that he's going to have the kind of fucking... There's going to be an incident like the one that he described earlier. He got on some kind of topic 
that's going to cause problems. And I'm concerned that it's going to end up with people having to get banned. Right now. That's noble of you. Good stuff. But as long as people follow our fucking rules. Then there's no fear of anybody getting banned. You just have to follow our fucking rules. That's all all of it comes back comes back to. Following the fucking rules. Okay? I mean like, you know, all you got all you have to do is observe the rules, follow them and you're going to be fucking fine. There's not and there shouldn't be any issues. The rules are the way they are for a fucking reason. Griffin Husky, thanks for the bits. Thank you for the apology. Just I don't want an apology. I just want you to not do it again. By the way, In this house, come as a hero. What? Yes, thank you, Fecal Bone. Here's what it comes back to. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay, if I want to talk about some shit, I'm going to fucking talk about it. Because obviously I've made the decision I want to talk about it. There's a possibility that the it was the wrong decision. But I'll deal with that later. Okay? All right. Does that make sense? Mike, do you think that not banning people is tied to this community having a reputation? Maybe punishing offenders could shape your chat into the one you want. I have the chat that I want. What do you think of that? The problem is when they're in other people's chats. That's the problem. You know, can you fucking like there there it's I have the chat I want. It's not perfect. I can't raid people. Oh, well, I can't raid people. I, I believe that one day, if I communicate the way I feel about this to you guys enough, I will be able to raid people one day. Because I think you guys can... I, I, I think that, honestly, unironically, I think that the majority of you... I'm not going to say all of you. I think I feel personally that the majority of you actually have enough respect for me to 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 like yeah really unironically to respect my wishes in that regard i do i really do think so and i don't think banning a couple of people uh is gonna is gonna change anything like you're suggesting you know what i'm saying are you afraid raiders will spam come oh well they've done it so They've done it. Man up and ban more people. I don't, we don't ban people who don't break rules. That's what it is. If you break rules, we ban you. If you don't break rules, we don't ban you. That's it. It's that simple. It's that, I swear to God, it's that fucking simple. It's that fucking simple. Again, it's not, it's not fucking, it, it's not a political thing. It's not this, it's not, it's not censorship. It's not any of that. It's, you broke the rules. You were told not to. You, we tried to correct it and you ignored us. That's why you got banned. Possum Todd, thanks for 56 months. Thank you. Sissy Piss Boy, he says that some of us do not know how to behave in less cum drenched environments. Well, I mean, I believe that the person named Sissy Piss Boy doesn't know how to behave. You know, guys, it's called, let me, let me introduce you to a concept. It's called code switching. Well, we've talked about this before. And you know what's wild? I know that, I, I know that you're all... I, Here's the fucked up part. I know for a fact that all of you are capable of doing it. I, 
I, I know. I know you are. You know what it is. I shouldn't have to explain it to you. Because most of you like participate in society on some level. It's it's not like you... Here's how chat wants to fucking paint this, right? Here's, here's how some people in chat want to fucking paint this situation. These people in question that we're that we're discussing right now, before they found this Twitch channel, they were like Christ, good Christian lads or something. And like I somehow single-handedly corrupted these people and ruined their brains and made them into into fucking goblins that can't be around other people. Like I single-handedly fucking did that. The only thing we fucking did is have a a, a more like lenient hand in timing out the range shit. Compared to like probably most Twitch chats you go to. That's it. And guess what? There's other communities like this. Bro, have you been to some of the the like the, 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 the Twitch channels of VTubers who were like really lewd VTubers? It's fucking ten times it's ten times as fucked up as this place. Uh, we're, we're honestly, do you guys think this is a fucked up community? You have no idea. This, this place is fucking, some of those, some of those fucking Twitch channels, some of those communities really make this one look like fucking like, I don't know, summer camp, Christian summer camp. Make this shit look like fucking Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory or some shit. I don't know. It looks makes this place look like a Christian Minecraft server, bro. Yeah. Holy shit. Cause we 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 do delete comments. We do time people out. Has he explained what code switching is? What do you think it is? It's this. It's when I'm in Mike's chat, I can make a cum joke. When I'm in Lime's chat, I can't. I know a lot of you watch both of us. And you know what? I see you guys. I see p names I recognize in her chat room when I'm there, and you're not saying cum jokes. Yeah. So, there you go. It's called reading the room. Yeah, and, and you know, I know most of you are capable of it. And a lot of you were like, well, there's a couple of people who aren't capable of it, and it's your fault, Mike. Come on. You don't you don't even really you don't believe that. Mike Lime said clown come on a stream. Best. Okay. Who cares? Very carefully, dumbass, change the topic. Don't fucking tell me while well, I'm in the middle of talking about it to change the topic. Shut the fuck up. If I'm making a mistake, I'll figure it out later I fucked up, okay? Don't tell me I fucked up when I'm in the middle of talking about something. We have ellipses on the ban list. They're going to stay there, and I'm going to tell you why. It's because you guys don't know how to use them. You abuse them, and you use them like assholes. You use them like a bunch of cocks, and I'm not going to let you have ellipses. Not allowed. You don't use them right. And you abuse, you use them too much. You use them too liberally. When you use them, it's just, it's just annoying. They ellipses annoy me. They an, ellipses j honestly fucking annoy me. Isn't that a global emote? We could ban we we could we could ban that. Oh, Wisp already did. Based Wisp. Because people would go, whenever I've said something stupid or did something stupid on, in the game, Chad would go, Mike, ellipses. You know what? Fuck you. All right, now you don't get ellipses. Wait, why are people using ellipses? Um, hello? How is that? Wait, what? They're Wisp, can you figure out what's going on there, please? Wisp! Wisp!
ellipses on their own, and then Mike ellipses, Michael ellipses, and then the name, my name, Mike, with three commas, because people were, were trying to cheese it with, like, comma ellipses. Here, let me give you a perfect example of something that needed to be put on this ban list that I could probably we could probably take off now. We had to put the word Velma on the ban list because one day, one night, people were arguing about the because people got to fucking argue about everything about the shitty fucking cartoon. You guys were having some kind of fight about it. And I was like, fuck it, put Velma, I don't, put Velma on the ban list. Right? Yeah, did you guys, you guys found a way to argue about the shitty fucking cartoon. And it was so cringe. It was so cringe. And sad. That you guys did that. And I want to take it off, can we take it off the ban list now? Is, I think enough time has passed. I don't want you guys arguing about this. Because again, if, okay, if, if I see you got, I like the ban list to be as short as possible, okay? Daphne was hotter. See, if you can keep that conversation civil, I think that's fine. Although I think you, I don't think you can. Although I don't think, I don't think you fucking can. As I could see, I could see you guys getting very um, vitriolic about that. Who's hotter, Daphne or Velma? That could that could get fucking bloody, actually. You know what? I'm gonna leave Velma on here. Also, chat saying season uh, season two is coming, so we will leave it on here. Daphnoids can't be serious. Take it easy, all right? Take it easy. Mike didn't ban Daphne. We know Mike's preference. Hey, how about the fact that they're cartoons, which I don't fuck? You ever think of that? I'm not, I'm not attracted to cartoons, guys. I'm not attracted to paper and ink on paper. Okay, we've had this conversation. How about neither of them? Because I'm not, I, don't, I don't get erections from drawings on paper. All right, I don't I don't get horny. I want to put my penis into a 2D fucking drawing on on a on a piece of paper, bro. Okay? I'm not attracted to drawings. I'm not attracted to sheets of paper and ink. Okay? I'm not it's not what I'm into. All right, guys? Moving on. Here's another interesting trend that we've done. Is Mike okay? And three different variations of is Mike okay? Who wants to explain why? Who who knows why we have that on the ban list? Because the answer is always no. Guys, it's because when you ask that, and a streamer sees it, the streamer immediately becomes not okay. That's a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you post that in a chat room and a streamer sees it, they're going to go from being okay to not being okay. It's like this. You are now thinking and breathing manually. You are now shitting your pants manually. You have made the conscious decision to relax your anus and let feces slip out of your rectum into your underwear. You have done that. You're doing it right now. It's happening.
I don't want to see people asking if I'm if I'm okay because the second I see it, I'm like, oh my god, am I doing something wrong? Am I acting a certain way? Am I am I now I'm self conscious. Don't do that. Don't ever say that in a, in a Twitch chat. Is blank okay? Don't do that shit. Activate Mike Savannah syndrome. Now I'm not. Now I'm not fucking okay. Mike, you are now aware of the tongue in your mouth. That's evil. Um, here's an interesting one. We have Ross Geller on the ban list. How many people here know who Ross Geller is? Also, you look tired. Is Mike tired? Shut the fuck up. Shut up. If I was tired, I wouldn't be streaming. Okay? Don't do that shit. Guys... If you don't know who Ross Geller is, he is the character who is often credited from uh, credited with um, bringing incels mainstream. Basically, Shal, thanks for seventy four months. I think for a lot of a lot of incels growing up, they watched Friends and what they got for and, and they saw Ross Geller and they said, "Huh, maybe it's okay to be an incel." Maybe I should just embrace that li that lifestyle, you know? Maybe I should just... Oh, it's okay to publicly be an incel. Cool. I never liked that show. I, I, I'm, I'm exaggerating. Why are pe people are posting aware emotes? But in fact, that was supposed to be funny for anybody who has seen Friends. But Ross fucks. Okay, it looks like you guys aren't getting the humor. Okay, uh, let's let's not um, let's not spend any more time on that. Jordy LaForge predates him and was an incel. Yeah, but Jordy LaForge was a cool incel. And I would argue that there's absolutely nothing redeemable about fucking Ross Geller's character. Ross Ga Ross Geller's character fucking sucks. There's nothing funny. He's not funny. He's fucking stupid. He's ugly. He's cringe. He's a whiny bitch. He's he's a fucking loser. And then the and then the show writers like reward him for being a fucking loser. He's a cringe fucking loser. And then he gets the girl in the end. Like fuck. What the fuck? Thank you for the bits, porn director Brian Griffin. He's ugly. Damn, why is David Schwimmer catching strays? Listen, somebody's got to catch a stray once in a while, bro. All right? The character sucks. I hate thinking about him, and I don't like seeing his name. The difference is you feel bad for Jordy. Maybe if David Schwimmer was on Reading Rainbow, okay, I wouldn't feel this way. But that's not the way it went down. All right? And that's all I'm going to say about that. It looks like this incel thing upset a lot of people. Maybe we should move on. All right. It was intended to be funny. Not everything lands, guys. All right. Next up. We're going to leave Ross Geller on here. Friends isn't funny, though. Okay. I would argue that when Friends is at its absolute least funny... It's because this character Ross is on screen. Or this character Ross is involved. Almost invariably. I, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and tell you Friends is a great show. I just happened to watch a, a lot of it. Because guess what? That's what was on TV when I was a kid. And we didn't have the fucking internet. We didn't have Netflix. We didn't have YouTube. So it was totally normal for like a completely disinterested, I don't fucking 10 year old to sit there and watch Friends on TV because there was legitimately nothing else to fucking watch. And I un sadly remember a lot of it. I saw a lot of Seinfeld. I saw a lot of um, Frasier. Not as much Cheers, interestingly enough. I was a little too old. Um... I was a little too, uh, I was a little too young, excuse me. I was a little too young for that. Um, home improvement, sure. 
I did. I did watch a lot of. I watched a lot of Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I was being a dick that night when I said I didn't like it. It's fine. I, I barely remember it, but I remember, I remember. You know, it wasn't. It, it's funny because back then it was like you had however many channels were on basic cable, bike, and you didn't. You didn't complain about. You didn't sit there and critique it. You just shut the fuck up and watched it, because otherwise you you didn't watch anything. You stared at a wall. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a, it was a different time, you know? Everything was so different back then, you know? Um, I'm having a fucking... I'm having a senior moment. Uh, all right, so Ross Geller, uh, and then we have next up the entire Morbius movie. Entire Morbius movie, one word. Remember Rabbit Ears? Plus two. Plus two from one old man to a fellow old man, plus two. Bring it back, guys. It's an emote that's the entire movie. It was crashing everybody's browser, which is why we put it on the ban list. <laughs> it was crashing people's browsers. That's why it's on here. Uh, so let's probably leave it on there. Can you disable the emote? I don't know. I, can you? It was the entire movie at like times 13 speed or some shit. Uh, here's a fun one. The word moron is on here. I want you guys to guess why it's on here. It's because you guys kept calling me a moron. So I put it on the ban list. I didn't like it. Because you felt offended. Do, do, I'm, when someone calls you a moron, are you not offended? You guys are being mean. What do you mean, no? What do you mean, no? Mike, I found some of those sugar-free gummy bears. I sound like King S. Ripper. You're going to shit your pants, brother. You're going to shit your pants. You're playing a dangerous fucking game, my dude. I don't want, I, I just, it was, it was pissing me off. You guys were, you guys were, okay. It wasn't that you guys were calling me a moron, like, sometimes. You were calling me a moron a lot. Okay, go fucking, you want to fucking verbally abuse a streamer, go watch Forsen. Go watch fucking, what's his name, Queso. Okay, there's plenty of channels where that's, that's the gimmick. Is verbally abusing the fucking streamer. Okay, go there. I'm not. I, I'm not about that shit. Okay, I'm about it to an extent because otherwise, I mean, you kind of have to be to make content on the internet. You got part of you has to enjoy it. A part of you has to not enjoy it, but be okay with it. But you guys, I remember one night you guys were just you just took it too fucking far. You verbally abuse chat sometimes. It's only fair. Shut the fuck up, moron. I'm just kidding. Aquatic Ultra, thanks for 10 months. Mike, your chat is full of sigmas. We don't let words offend us. Yeah. Um, 
I don't think it's a it's a healthy environment that's being uh, fostered when you just have a wall of people calling the streamer a moron. That's all. That's a fucking school of philosophy. That's that's a again. Feel free to disagree. Some people will disagree. I don't agree. Mike, that's very baby gronk of you. Are you going to make me put baby gronk on this ban list? Can we on ban moron on the grounds they directed at me instead? If you want to call Captain... Okay. If every time you want to call me a moron, you were to call Captain Hungry Spy a moron instead, then maybe I'll permit this. Maybe I'll remove this. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. If you like that, Hungry Spy, if you're into that. Just kidding. We're not doing that. I want to point we haven't removed a single thing from this ban list yet. How about this? I'm almost there. Keep going. Keep going. Too gross. Too sexual. Too sexual. I don't know, you guys were, you, you, and you guys were saying it at the dumbest times to the dumbest things and scaring the absolute shit out of the fucking hose. No, no more. No more of this. Okay, we're not, we're not doing that anymore. As if there's hose here. Yeah, and, and guess why there aren't hose here? That's right. Because of you, chat. Because of you. Not because of me. Because of you. Okay. Mike, your main demographic is probably middle-aged women. Your mothers don't count. Because they're here to have sex with me, not necessarily watch the content. It's a little bit different. All right. And I will get around to having sex with all of them, like I keep saying. All right. I'm going to be in Europe very soon, and I'm going to get, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to blast through as many of the um the european viewers moms as i can while i'm there I, I'm, I'm i'm just it, it's gonna take a while guys I'm, I'm i'm getting up there it's exhausting i got i have a long i have a longer refractory period which with, e with each passing day okay J just trust the process i'm gonna get to all your mothers all right salami tour mike is sowing his oats how about this up your ass king wait a minute didn't we just say that Wait. But we, weren't, we, weren't we just saying it's not banned? But it is banned? Wait. Huh? I'm going to remove this. Because it's incongruous with something I said 10 minutes ago. Okay? It pissed you off. It, it must have been one night, like, Dwako was probably spamming it at me when I wanted, like, a real answer. Um. Here we go. Here's a, here's a fun one. Go to sleep. I'm fucking 38 years old, and I can't stand that shit. Don't fucking say that to me. That stays. I know when my own fucking bedtime is. You go to sleep. Avi, when people say that to me, it, they're tired. If you, if you if you feel compelled to write go to sleep in a fucking chat room in, 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 on, at somebody's stream, okay, you're probably the one who needs to go to fucking bed. You're typing that because you're tired. Sasha Green, thanks for the 15 months. Check this out. Mole eyes. Which is now an emote. <sighs> I'll just I'll just remove that, I guess. Uh we also have check it out. Peepaw. It was annoying me when people were calling me Peepaw.
It still kind of does. It still does. Another Joaco classic. Joaco used to call me uh, Abuelito. Abuelo. Dead cows, thanks for the gifts up to people. Pop, pop. This should get removed. I'll remove people. And also, uh, people, two words. People, one word. Well. All right, here we go. We got gooey cum hole. Not sure why specifically um, we ended up with that on here. I feel like there was a really specific event one night that led us to put that on the ban list. I don't remember what it was. I know, I mean, that's, I mean, talk about scaring the fucking holes. Holy shit. Fecophiliac, thanks for the bits, bud. Let's go ahead and keep that banned. It was somebody trying to get your attention. Yeah, they were spamming it probably to like be like, uh, like they were using it like alerta and just saying gooey cum holes, blah, 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 blah. Gooey cum holes, alerta. And I was like, you're pissing me the fuck off. And I, I, I that's what it was. I know what will get his attention. Gooey, gooey cum holes. Shut the fuck up. All right, here's this. What is he doing? <laughs> with the word, with the word doing in all caps. <laughs> what is he doing? You know why? Because it's just such a passive aggressive way to insult me. I just see it as a passive aggressive way to insult me and it pisses me off. What is he doing? Why isn't he getting on the box? Yeah, it's in that fucking vein, bro. What is he doing? I am gonna shit if he doesn't stop doing that and start doing it the way I would do it. Shut the fuck up. That stays. Ooh, ooh thank you, daddy. Thank you for the gift subs, daddy. Sorry. I said that. That was weird. That was weird. Why isn't he turning around, dude? What is he doing? What is Mario doing? What is Bowser doing? Why won't he turn around? What is he doing? All right, I'm leaving that there. There's like five different variations of what is he doing. Uh, stream over is on the ban list because you guys were saying it for no reason and it was confusing like some of the dumber people um, among you and causing them to leave the, 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 the fucking channel when I'm not done streaming. Again, it was the melodic and dreamy cadence or whatever the fuck. Because you have people that are so fucking brain rotted that they'll see in the chat, they'll see somebody saying the stream's over and they'll just not, and they'll just be like, guess it's over and click the fucking X on, uh, and close the browser window instead of listening to fucking anything I'm actually saying. Which is why I had to commission Joel to write a fucking uh, obnoxious screamo song. Literally the reason that song exists. Mike, 15 people left when you say that. Demonstrating the point. Here's another good one. Okay, end with a question mark. This is the same thing as who cares. This is a, uh, this is who cares with a pair of glasses and a fake nose and mustache. And it stays on the ban list. We have the name Matt Pat. Now he has retired. So maybe it's time to take him off the ban list. You know what it was? It was just his name was annoying me. Honest, honestly, it's it, it, the existence of Matt Pat annoys me. Take it, take it for what you will. Nickel, 
FQ5, thank you for four months, ma'am. Keep that band till the end of time. Yeah, Matt. Matt Pat. Every variation of Matt Pat's name is on here. Um, how about this one? You look red. Because chat keeps insisting that my skin is red. Which is insane. Because it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, it's not. You know what the problem is? Y you guys need to go back to fucking kindergarten and you guys need to learn colors over again you need to learn the primary colors over again you guys just don't or, or maybe you have maybe you're colorblind like maybe some of you are legitimately like you have a, an impairment and you don't know what the color red looks like really that's it's possible mike use the color picker now and prove it all right how do you do it how is that is there like a website for that? Do it in Microsoft Paint. I have paint.net. All right, let's 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 take a look here. All right. Oh my god. Um Here we go. I'm going to take that dropper emote and click on, wait, son of a bitch. I guess I have to take a screenshot first. Is how it's going to work? All right. right. Got to take a screenshot here. All right, here we go. So there I am. And we take the color picker. I'll just put it like right there. Bro, that's fucking purple. Why the fuck am I purple? I'm purple? I, I don't want to be purple. All right, well, you know what? I, I, okay, at the very least, this proves I'm not red. So can we put the fucking red thing to rest, please? Can we put that behind us, please? Okay, I'm purple. Guys, on ironically, this is the exact color of Mr. Dink. Like, that's straight up. That is, that's the exact color of Mr. Dink, dude. The, hello, Douglas. <laughs> you broke my grill, Douglas? Mike, purple is a type of red. Guys, this is real. I'm purple. Holy fuck. Why am I purple? Am I like... Like, is this... Is this like... Like, am I a minority now? Like, what, is this like... Is there like purple people? Like, do I... Like, when they ask me like... Of my race on like job applications and shit like is there like a purple like what is it is it like purple man like what like what what does that mean like what you're just italian is this is this a thing like italians are purple like guys i'm freaking the fuck out guys guys i'm fucking losing it i Mike is the color of a Smurf losing the ability to breathe. Mike, the proper term is Grape American. Huh. Guys, I don't think I like this very much. I don't I don't think I want to be purple. Like, do I have to be purple? Like, do I have to be? 
Like, what if... I don't like this. Chad said, I don't even see a difference. <laughs> Man, that's bad. I mean... Hey, it's an Easter color though, right? Like I'm in time, just in time for Easter. It might be camera settings. It, uh, okay, I think the camera settings are fine. Do we really got to fuck, fuck with the camera settings? No, not who. No, I don't want to fuck with the camera settings. They're fine. All right, we're gonna pick a color, like here. Guys, it's no matter where I click, it's still purple. It's just different shades of purple. Guys, no matter where I click, I'm purple. What's up, dude? It's reflected blue light from your your monitor. You red bastard. Do has seen me in person. Do am I red? Siri, okay, jokes aside, am I Yes? You fucking cocksucker. Really? You're really doing this to me? You piece of shit. Really, man? Really? I am. You know what? He's not the only one who's met me in person. Captain Hungry Spy met me in person. Are you still here, Captain Hungry Spy? Am I red, bro? Do you want to be. Do you want to jump on the bandwagon of people fucking memeing on me right now? Or do you want to be like. Do, do you want to stand for fucking truth? Do you want to stand for the fucking truth? Like, do you, do you want to be like, like, do you want to be like Rorschach at the end of Watchmen? Or do you want to be like a fucking patsy in the, in, in their scheme? What do you want to do? Do you want to, do you want to actually fucking stand for something? Booty Menace, thanks for the gift sub. Attack team. Attack team. I met attack team two years ago. Attack team. Am I red? No. Attack team, you just got a promotion. Congratulations. Now you have to do more moderation. I'm purple. Chat, is this real? Fecal water rifle. Thank you for the gift sub to Mike is red. Okay, guys. Okay. I'm not red. Okay, I'm not red. I'm not. I have to let paint.net update every single time I open the program. Guys, that, that shit's putting some kind of spyware on my fucking computer or something, right? Like, holy shit. Why does it update so much? You can close the little window. I should. All right. Anyway, um, the word uh, "ready" is on the ban list. Uh, you are red. Uh, you're red. All on the on the ban list. We're gonna keep those on there, I think, because I'm not red. Uh. I'm not. I'm fucking not. I'm not, guys. There's also um, two emotes on the ban list. Okay. One of them is a green, the green square emote. Emoji. Do you know why? Mike, we just established you are. We established, if we established anything, we established I'm purple. Okay. We have a tier three emote. 
called Mike is wrong. It's the only way you can call me wrong in this Twitch channel. Uh, it's the only official, correct, allowed way, sanctioned way to call me wrong. Um, you can see it's a bright lime green with the, with the yellow font on it, making it completely illegible. Meaning that I never really see that, you know, you think I'm wrong. Um, Ningata, thanks for the bits. Now, what was happening is people were using that green square emoji in an attempt to circumvent paying for the emote. So in other words, they were trying to call me wrong without giving me money, which is never going to be allowed on this Twitch channel. Ever. It's just not a thing. We're just not going to let it happen. We also banned the little green book because people, once we banned the square, they were using the book instead because I guess it looks very similar. So we banned that too. Um, my brother in Christ, both of us are giving you money. Well, if you want to call me wrong, you got to give me more. Okay, that's just the way it is. Meanwhile, the Mike is right emote is beautiful, made by, I believe, Pimp Master Stallion. Thanks again, Pimp. Um, it's a tier one, uh, it's a tier one emote. In fact, I was thinking maybe we should have made it a follower emote. Maybe it could be cool if it could be cool if it was a follower emote. Yeah. Too bad there's never any opportunities to use the mic is right emote. Uh-huh. Mike, George Orwell wrote a book about this. That's a different emo. Um, we'll leave the squares. I don't want anybody, you know, again, circumventing that. Here's a fun one. He's pretending. Why would I put he's pretending on the ban list? Who could tell me why? Because again, it's another roundabout way of calling me stupid. He's pretending. Is this a bit? Same thing. Moronic. E-O-S-V. Goes back to the stream ending thing. Uh, this one's one of my personal favorites. We had to put the words fire emblem on the ban list. Nessinet, thanks for the, uh, for the bits. Because the way that you, you, you guys argued about Fire Emblem characters made me actually want to vomit. I, I'm not kidding. When I saw the shit you, you guys were arguing about, my, my, I actually fucking had, I was dry heaving because of how fucking cringe it was what was happening in this chat room. Like I actually was going to fucking throw up. It was unreal. Worse than Sonic fans. Yeah. As a fan of that series, its fan base is so intolerable, I can't handle them. It was very fucking cringe and stupid. It really pissed me off. Uh, F.E. is also on the ban list. Uh, end of stream voice. Um, the word slur is on the ban list. Because you guys would... So there, there are certain people who will just randomly decide that words are slurs. Like people were just being like, that's a slur. Like femboy, remember when? Remember when I got gaslit into believing that femboy was a slur, which is why I fucking now put the, which is why slur is now on the ban list. It's a, slur itself is now on the ban list. Slur itself is a slur. It can be. Okay, so I'll tell you what. If anybody here is 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 using it as a slur, that's going to be in direct violation of our rules, obviously, doing that. 
whatever the fuck. That's clearly you're trying to cause a fucking problem, which is breaking the fuck, which is breaking the rules. So then if that happens, we'll deal with it. All right. Then we have uh, mole eyes, but with a zero as the as an, as the O. And then we have tons of slurs. The R the R slur is on here. How caked up can he be? Sorrow, thanks for the seven months of support. Uh, we got a lot of a lot of slurs on here. Fun fact, you know, I wanted to bring this one up. Um. Okay, I, I won't say it. It, it, it I, to me, I, I, my understanding of it is that it's another one of those words that it isn't a slur, but kind of gets used like one. And I have, I guess, an interesting story I want to share with you guys. I love the R slur, Fred. Uh, let me. What, what, what was his? What was his fucking name? I think it was like Tommy. What was his fuck his fucking name? Jimmy or something? Jimmy, Tommy. It was like one of the Frankie. Oh my god, it was Frankie. That's so funny. It was Frankie. Alright, so. The word is F-U-T-A. Now hold up. When I was in high school. I, I went to school with somebody. And their name, listen to, listen to me. Their name was Frank, like, Futinelli. And everybody used to call him Frankie Fu. Ta. Like, for short. Frankie, Frankie Fu. Frankie Fu. Because back then, I, I, no one, this wasn't a thing, for, to my knowledge. You know, we're talking about the fucking early 2000s, guys. If it was a thing, it was like a super niche weeb thing in some godforsaken corner of the internet, you know. So, Frankie Fu, Frankie Fu, ta, is what we called them. That everybody called him. And I wonder if he still goes by that. And I wonder if people still call him that. Right? Do you think so? Do you think he knows? Because this guy might not know. He might legitimately, legitimately might not know. He might not know. And just to think he could be walking around like that, having people who also probably don't know calling him that is fucking hilarious. And maybe if anybody were to tell him or if he were to know, he'd never be able to admit it because it outs him. And anybody calling him that wouldn't be able to admit it because it would out them. Titan Nadeus, thank you for the sub. Fresh Freak, everybody say hello. Put some dumpies, please. I wouldn't give a shit. Yeah, but you got to understand something about, like, the culture that I'm from and the culture that I grew up in and everything. And it's really, like, a lot of homophobia, a lot of, like, uh, uh, Christian, uh, ca Catholic uh, 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 prudishness type shit. Like, Catholic fucking... Um, Whatever the fuck, you know, shame, guilt, Catholic guilt and shit and like shame and just it's Italian Americans uh, are not like that. You know, Puritanism, Italian Americans would be, you know, aren't inclined to, you know, sit here and be like, you know, hey, check out this, you know, it's not a thing. So 
Someone's saying it, the word's not a slur. Again, it's one of those words. I don't, it's not. But people use it that way. Right. Um. So, that word just means two in Japanese. What? So, so if you count to ten, you do you say that every time you count to ten? What? Well, it's one of those things where it's like, let me put it this way. Here's the reason that obviously this is staying on the ban list because people are going to use it to cause problems. We don't like problems. So it's going to stay on the ban list. Okay. I've seen a couple of people confused by it over the you know over the since we've had it on here and now you understand why this is one of those words that, that okay here, here, you got to understand this too because here's the thing a lot of you are not willing to give people the benefit of the doubt i've seen instances of people like genuinely legitimately confused that they couldn't use that word like they they didn't understand what we're talking about right now and they were like what the fuck? They didn't understand any of this. They didn't understand that it could be a problem word to use, you know. They just did they legitimately didn't understand it. You know. So we're going to leave it on here. Uh I'm seeing but I just thought you guys would like the story of Frankie Foo. Frankie Foo. You know, I thought you guys would enjoy that. I knew, actually, I knew you guys would enjoy that. Um, a lot of slur. It's kind of, it's, it's hard not to want to giggle a little bit as I scroll past here and see all these, all these slurs just like, like bam, 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 like rapid fire. Just, you know what I'm mean? just like, kind of bizarre. It's just, it's, just, it's not something you see every day. It's just, you know, it's... Not, it's weird. It's a weird feeling. The infinite craft be like, unironically, exactly... The, it, 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 it's, it's funny in the way infinite craft was funny, whereas infinite craft would just be like, boom. Here it is! And this makes sense, you know? Like, it's just, um... This one's fun. He, li, li, listen to the right wing, left wing, liberal, conservative, Republican, Democrat, alt right, chud. All of it's banned. All of it's banned. It's all banned. This is not a politics channel. What about Libcuck? We left Libcock because Libcock's funny. Enlightened centrists only. Sure, that's how you, if that's how you want to look at it. If that's what you need to, if, if you need to put, label it, if you need to. Or you can be an adult and understand that we're not trying to have politics in here. We're not trying to talk about politics. We're not trying to we're not trying to do any of that. Right? You cannot enter this stream unless you can fit a fence post up your anus. Well, no. No. We're trying to be brain rot escape. You want to know one of the most amazing and insightful things that Joel has ever said to me? I'll never fucking I'll never forget this. One of the smartest things that Joel ever said when we were we were talking about content and like making content and like you know or we were like kind of sharing our approaches to making content. 
And he said, here's the thing, man. Here, he was like, he's like, here's what I think, you know, your job is as a streamer. It's not to provoke thought. It's to end it. <laughs> and I said, that's so based. And I try to, th I, I, I think about that all the fucking time. And I try to always have that in the back of my head. That's so deep. He's so deep. Banger quote. Yeah, banger fucking quote from from Joey. Fortune cookie quote. <laughs> and that's that I try I've tried to embrace that philosophy so hard on this Twitch channel. Do I fail sometimes? Yes. But no, I'm that my goal is that. My goal is not to fucking and I do, I, I really try to stay away from anything that could be, you know, fucking construed as like political. I do. And that, you know, I, I used to not do that once upon a time around, you know, years ago, because I didn't, that wasn't the philosophy that I had, but you know what it is? I, I learned that that's not the way to go. That's not, I, I figured out that that's not what I, what I want, you know, but that's not the kind of content I want to make. That's not the kind of community that I want to have. Right. So, uh, we put the word kick on here as in K I K because it was fucking brain dead. How constantly you guys were confusing it for K I C K dot com. Right. Um, end of stream voice. Codger is on here. Codger. I'm going to remove Codger. I'll give you guys, you guys can have Codger back. Uh, SJW is on here. Yep. See, see what I'm saying? Yeah, we have so much. Yeah. Um, main dog's name is on here. <laughs> main dog is on here. Free him. We did. And we were like, stop talking about whatever the fuck you talk about. And then he immediately did it again. No, what happened was I removed the ban on him. And he, I said, you're going to behave? And he said, I'll do it again. So I just immediately banned him again. You guys thought it was so based. I guess, I think for him it was worth it. He was so real for that. The most bizarre thing about that uh, the tag team says is that they act completely normal elsewhere and I saw it firsthand. See, that pisses me off because that just, that just means there was a total lack of respect for me on his part. So there's no other way to interpret that. Didn't he ban evade? I think he did ban evade. Code switch. Yeah, but guess what? There is still a limit to what you can be saying and doing in here, man. Come on. Like, some of you are acting like we don't fucking have any rules. Like, we don't have any fucking limits. We do. Um, punished main dog was his all anything punished punished anything is very funny to me for some reason uh, Here's another one move on because move on is the same as uh, change the topic and, and you know, it's it, it's in that category 
Don't fucking tell me to move on for the same reasons. Shut the fuck up. Moveon.org. Um, listen to far right, right toid. <laughs> right toid. We got right toid and the left toid on here. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh the word capitalism. <laughs> you guys made us take away the word capitalism. You made you you, you lost the right to say capitalism in here. Also in Discord Based. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. That's not what we do. We don't talk about that shit here. Mods, you're going to have to help me out with this one. Paris Ogre and Paris Duck? What the fuck? What, what even was that? They were ugly emotes. Um, not telling you is on the ban list. That's Draco. I remember the time. Again, we we you know I asked I asked chat about something in the game and he said not telling you and I said you know what you're pissing me off. Uh, moron spelt with a zero. Elon Musk's name is in here. Dingus is in here. <laughs> dingus! Guys, do you want Dingus back? Okay, I say if you call me a Dingus, it's going back on here. Do not abuse this. Do not abuse this and call me. I swear to God, if you call me a fucking Dingus, Dingus, it's going straight back on this list, guys. I swear to God. It's going straight back on. It's going straight the fuck back on, guys. There's a sentence on the ban list, and I'm pretty confused by it. It says, you see the game Twitch announced today. What? It was bot prevention? Ninja is on here. Tyler Blevins is on here. Bots would come in here and say, you see the game Twitch announced today? Th Twitch doesn't make games. What the fuck? Twitch doesn't develop, isn't a game developer or a publisher. That They don't make games. What the fuck? Is that That doesn't even make sense. What the fuck were they saying that for? Oh, we put Ninja on here because of the blue hair. All right, I'll give you, I'll give you Ninja back. Okay, I'll give you Tyler Blevins. Uh, Tyler... The Blev Ninja Blevins. You can have that back. You're welcome. Nike or Nike Oral. Thanks for 14 months. Uh, I'll give you back Fortnite Guy and Ninja. Okay, how about Fat Baby? You can have Fat Baby back. Fat Baby was a game I played that chat wouldn't shut the fuck up. They were obsessed with it. Um, okay. The word noperinos is on here. Noperinos. Noperinos. And also, amazingly, the suffix erino. <laughs> Wait, was this in my direction? <laughs> How did this happen? How did this happen, mods? Do you remember? I don't remember. I'm going to say something. The 
Anything Arena really pisses me the fuck off. And as far as I could tell, no one is saying that shit on ironically at this point. That's only I ironic. Right? Like you're trying to make fun of somebody or something. Like you say... The arena, er, the Ereno thing. Reno is ancient Twitch culture. culture. Heckin Paul Garinos. We were going to leave this like this, right? Razorino, your Dongarinos. Yeah, I don't like that. It was only ever ironic. You sure, champ? Check this out. This is so based. Listen to this cluster of banned terms. Last of Us 2. T-L-O-U-2. Last of Us 2, but the 2 is spelled out instead of the Arabic numeral 2. Award bait game. L O U two. We're going to leave all of that on here. The word stream skill is on here. I don't I don't know what the fuck That is. What what is that? Is it a is it an emote? We'll just leave it. It's probably a bot thing. The word Kino is on here, K-I-N-O, because it pisses me off. Calling things Kino. In fact, when me and Mountain Dew were talking about watching the the, the killer bean on stream, he called it Kino. He did. He he used it on ironically. I was like, really, bro? Yeah, is it Kino? Is it? Kino. It is Kino? Well, well we're going to find out soon. The word galore is on here. Why would the fucking word galore be on here? Wisp says, I was watching Napoleon Dynamite on Twitch and the whole chat was spamming the word Kino. It's, it's like a Redditor term. Why do Americans do that? That's just the German word for cinema. They don't, Re Redditors call it that. I thought it was Redditors. It's a 4chan term. Okay, apparently it's a 4chan term, not a Redditor term. They're like the same thing. Whatever. They're like the same. It's like the same shit. It's like the, that, that's like the same type of person. Like, um, let's see. Gal I don't know why the word galore is on here. I, I guess I'll take it off. Galore. 4chan shits into Reddit's mouth a lot. It's like an Ouroboros eating its own shit. Like the snake isn't eating itself. The snake is shitting into its own mouth. And the snake is made out of shit. So it's like... The whole thing's fucked. Um, I guess I'll give you Galore back. I don't really understand why it's on here. R... 3D is on here. Zero L D is on here. Um, fuck boy Tom is on here because for some reason some guy's girlfriend called me. So someone in chat one night was like, "Yo, um, my girlfriend uh couldn't remember what your name was. You're just like to her, you're just this annoying streamer I watch all the time and I couldn't remember 
I couldn't remember. She couldn't remember what your name was. And she was like, are you watching that guy again? Uh, what's his name? Fuckboy Tom. And they came in here and told me that. And then I, I read it out loud. And then all of a sudden, everybody started calling me Fuckboy Tom. Like, I became Fuckboy Tom in within minutes. I was Fuckboy Tom. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to give you Fuckboy Tom back. If you could be responsible with it. How about this? Listen, listen, listen to this. Here's another cluster of, of terms. Don't tell him. Nobody tell him. Don't tell him. No one tell him. Say nothing. Don't tell. Fuck boy Tom is your fake Peppino. Yeah. I'm going to leave that. Because that whole thing fucking annoys me. No, tell him. All right, stop. Listen. No, I, the, oh, oh my God. The cluster wasn't over. Don't tell him. Don't tell him without an apostrophe. No one tell him. Don't tell. Say nothing. Keep him misinformed. Keep him in the dark. Refrain from providing Michael the relevant information. Twenty minute is on here because people lying about how long it was gonna take to finish like a part of a game or something. Huge meme twenty minute. Fire various spellings of the word fire emblem. Uh fire emblem using different like Unicode fonts and things like that. Oh, pretty much every imaginable Incarnation of the words Fire Emblem. We banned TwitchCon hype because it made everybody here violently angry. Um, mods, why is the word taxonomy on this list? Mike hates biology. I'll tell you what, um, I'll give it back to you. I don't remember why or how that happened. Shrek is on here. Why is Shrek on here? Guys, we have an emote of Shrek. Shrek can't be banned. We have Matthew Perry on here because people were Paul revering when the night Matthew Perry died. So we had to put like eight different people came in and were trying to tell me and chat about how Matthew Perry died. So we put Matthew Perry's name on the ban list. But I mean, that was a while ago. So I think I could take Matthew Perry off here now. Hear ye, hear ye. Matthew Perry has died. Matthew Perry drowned in a hot tub. Hear ye. Hear ye. It's interesting because we, we don't have David Schwimmer on the ban list, but we have the character he played on the ban list. And then in this case, we have the actor that he that he acted with on the ban list. Very interesting. I think it's, it, it's wild that Friends comes up twice on this ban list. I'll take Matthew Perry off the list. Um, peachy eight zero bleh fart. A gross emote. Yeah, Wisp. Okay, I want you to describe the emote to me in detail. Mike, if you kept Matthew Perry banned, we only would have had four friends left to grow. To go. Shrek was banned because of your Halloween costume. You guys kept saying I was Shrek when I was obviously J J Jumbo Josh. That's why I put it on the ban list. It was it was Halloween. That's right. You guys were fucking being dicks and making fun of my Halloween costume. I it was very obvious I was Jumbo Josh and you got Jumbo Josh. You guys kept calling me Shrek. So I said, okay, you know what? Fuck you. And I put Shrek on the ban list. That's right.
It's gonna, it's because, most of the time, 99% of the time, when you ask why something on this ban list is here, it's because you guys were being dicks. You guys were being dicks in some way, shape, or form, and you forced me to put something on the ban list. The Sonic EXE would have been better. I did both. I was also Sonic.exe the night before. I had two Halloween costumes, guys. Mike is victim blaming. Shut the fuck up. Mods, put victim blaming on the ban list. That annoyed me just now. I don't remember what it looked Yeah, the ban list grows. I don't remember what it looked like, but it's someone farting with a green cloud coming out of their ass. Hmm. Alright, I'll leave that then. Why is diaper on the ban list? <laughs> Mike hates the minimum wage. Put minimum wage on the ban list, guys. Diaper is... I'm taking diaper off the ban list. Free diaper. Free diaper. Yik is on here because you guys wouldn't stop asking me to play it. Uh, Tomb Raid, I'm guessing, is an emote. Uh, Discord Kitten is a banned phrase. Good news for all crinkle-pilled diaper cells. Diaper cells rejoicing. You guys were calling me Fred's Discord kitten or something, which is why I banned it. Um, the word promise is on here because I never promise you guys anything. Honestly, I have no idea why. Maybe we should remove it. What about the batting cage stream? Punstar, straight up, I would have done the batting cage stream already if it, if the backpack wasn't all fucked up. Yeah, here's the thing. I never promise stuff, okay? I don't promise things. I would never use that word. The word Clossy is on here. I'm giving you guys. You guys deserve Clossy. You guys, I don't know why Clossy ended up on here. Check this out. Crouch jump and crouch jumping. <laughs> so this game has a glitched jump mechanic. Guys. I want you to imagine the absolute fucking visceral like confusion of somebody who came here and had no idea any context of anything that was going on, right? And sees me playing a game and they're like, Mike, you have to crouch jump and tries to say that in the chat room and just being met with like your, your, your sentence included a banned term and like they can't say it. Like, imagine that, what that must feel like. You know, like, what? Mike asks for full sentences. Also, Mike has a block list the length of a novel. Hey, Crafty, thanks for checking out the channel. You're very confused? Yeah, you should be. Uh, I, 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 I mean, sorry. Um, Should we give him crouch jumping back? I... I Something pissed me off about crouch jumping. I think I was playing a game where, like, you couldn't crouch jump, and chatters kept telling me to crouch jump, and I, then they knew it was pissing me off, so they kept saying it. Sasha Green, thanks for the gifts up. I know about the DSP meme. I know that chat was probably, like, again, riffing off that to piss me off. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll give it back to you. Because I don't remember why it made me so mad. 
A glitched jump mechanic. Uh, apple cider vinegar is on here. Because... <laughs> you were trying to learn tech on lethal, lethal Company, which has no crouch jumping, and chat was telling me to crouch jump. It was pissing me off. Because that game does not have crouch jumping. I was sitting here, and I was I was having those flies going and like crawling all over my face, and I was getting pissed off. And I was like, chat, what do I do? And you guys were like, make an apple cider vinegar trap. So I did. It did absolutely nothing. And then for like months thereafter, every time I got annoyed at flies, somebody was like, why don't you just bake an apple cider vinegar trap? It really does work, though. Here's the thing. It doesn't. Because it didn't. And that shit sat there for fucking like weeks and didn't trap a single fucking fly, guys. You gotta use soap. I did! Guys, I, I fucking went and found out, I found the, the recipe that you guys were talking about online. It doesn't work. Guys, I don't think that it doesn't work. Here's what I think. No, 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 here's what I think. That species of fly is not the one that that works on. Like, that will work on a different fly. Not the ones that were cr trying to crawl up my nose and shit. Those gnats weren't fruit flies. That's what I'm saying. That was never going to work on those little assholes because they're not interested in fruit, I think. They're like drain flies or something. Yeah. And you know what's fucked about that? There are no drains in this room. There's a bathroom, like, across the hall and down the hall a little bit. So maybe they're coming out of those drains and flying in here, even though that door is fucking closed all the time. Did you find the source? No, no, they're not. They're not here right now because it's too cold. They fucking all froze to death. I also never have food in here. There's never food in this room. Unless you count the cat food that one time. But that's... But I don't. Mike, remember the time that your mother had a vinegar uh, trap out to trap the, the gnats? And your father dipped his finger in it and put it in his mouth. Yeah. Yeah, and there was dead flies floating on the, bo like, like on the bottom of the, of the bowl. Bro, what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So on brand for your dad. Yeah. Um, I'll remove apple cider vinegar until we have to put it back on the ban list. Um, there's a hashtag justice for Dwako. Again, we didn't ban him. And I, you know what? No. No justice for Dwako. That was the joke. Check out this cluster. Doug Walker, Nostalgia Critic, Channel Awesome. Draco didn't get banned. Draco escaped. I'll tell you what. Next November, I will remove those three things from the ban list for the month. And then I'll put them back on. Okay. So we'll unban those three terms for the month of November and then put them back on after afterward. <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> Scott the Waz is on here. Only because you guys would spam his name whenever that song came on this playlist we're listening to right now, and it annoyed me. So I put Scott the Waz on the ban list. He doesn't even use that song anymore. Yeah, I don't know anything about Scott the Waz. I've never... Seen one of his videos? I know absolutely... 
I have negative information about Scott the Wise guys. And every day I would just be I would just be trying to fucking talk about something. And all of a sudden my chat is just a wall of it says Scott the Waz, Scott the Waz, Scott. And I'm like, my, my, my train of thought gets completely fucking derailed. I'm like, what are you talking about him for? Hello? And then you guys are like, oh, the music. And I'm like, fuck the music. I'm talking. Shut up. Fun fact. You hear this version of the playlist we're listening to right now? Hold on. I'm, let, 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 me, let me read you the, the description. Oh, uh, this is a version of the fantastic Alizarin Red's video game music compilation. Each song has been renormalized to negative six decibels to ensure consistent volume throughout the playlist, which avoids the need to constantly switch to and from OBS to change volume after chat complains that the music is too loud or too quiet. Some tracks have also had fade out added where it was missing, improving continuity. I also replaced the Scott the Waz theme with Mario Kart Wii Daisy Circuit because Mike complains about that track. The video doesn't reflect this because I didn't want to spend another three hours re-rendering the video after hours of audacity crashes and hangs. I, I wasn't complaining about it, bro. Okay, it was it was pissing me off that I'd be again sitting here trying to talk about something, anything, and all of a sudden the chat would just be like fucking spamming Scott the Waz. So it's been this version is dewazed. Waz me up, waz me up inside. Bust a load of wazed up semen in me, sucking penis, sucking penis. It pissed me off, but I wasn't complaining. The song didn't did, didn't piss me off. I wasn't complaining about the song. I was complaining about you fucking nerds and goobers and fucking d kringoids spamming Scott the Wise because you heard a fucking song. Shut up and listen to me. Fuck. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Pay attention. Forget the fucking Scott the Wise. Forget them. Forget the fucking song. He hates the Wozniaks. I don't know anything about about them to hate them. Wait, wait, there's more than one? I don't hate the guy. I don't know anything about it. It was just annoying me when you guys spam his fucking name while I'm trying to talk about shit. Unable to get Wazzy with it. You did it to yourselves. You did it to yourselves. I don't know. I'm telling you, I've never seen a second of any Scott the Waz content. I know it's video game related. What did he makes video game shit? On literally, all I know is he makes some kind of video game content, and he has a TV show. They gave him a TV. He has some kind of TV show or something. Literally, all I fucking got, guys. So I don't have I don't have anything against Scott the Waz, but I am gonna leave this on the ban list because if I hear that fucking music again and you guys start spamming Scott the Waz, I am going to go absolutely fucking berserk. I'm going to go mental. I'm going to snap. I'm going to end up in a padded room eating my own shit. Okay. I'm going to have a a fucking psychological break and go feral. If you if, okay, if that happens again, that's why I have to leave this on the ban list. I'm going to have a Michael Douglas falling down moment. Mike, how is that different than now? Communism is on the ban list. Here we go. Listen to this cluster. Germa. Germa985. Jern with an N. Germa spelt with a G. Germophobia spelt with a J. Now, why is this on the ban list, guys? You want to tell me why that? I... Because I hate Germa? Because I hate Germa? Yeah. 
Is it, that's what that's what you really think? You really think that? You really think? I, I guys, I never met Germa. Um, I think the stuff that Germa makes is is fantastic. I think he's fucking incredible. I think he's an inspiration to everybody in our industry who aspires to make fucking incredible content. He's a fucking icon. He's a legend. I don't hate Germa. If anything, I love Germa. But you guys are so fucking on funny. With this with with just his name and anything related to the guy's name. And when you when you hear me say like things that sound like his name and the height of comedy to you people is to just kind of I I, I don't know, do word plays to put his name into it, like that's somehow humor makes me actually want to eat a bullet. It is the cringiest fucking thing I maybe have ever seen in my life. It makes me actually sad how cringe that is. Like, I get depressed from it because of how painfully fucking unfunny that is. It is so fucking unfunny, it... It hurts. It actually hurts how unfunny that is. Vinny is friends with him. Ask Vinny to introduce you. I did ask Vinny to introduce me to Germa once. And he said, you are so embarrassing to me that I would never introduce you to anybody that I know. You are such a painful... F I am so ashamed of you as a person that I know, as a friend, that I would never, ever introduce you to anyone. That's what he said. He said, fuck no, I'm not going to introduce you to Germa. I'm not going to introduce you to anybody that I don't have to. Because knowing you is so fucking painful. And having to be associated with you is so fucking painful. Okay? That, again, that's what makes me want to die inside. So no, I'm not going to introduce you to Germa. Okay? And the next time you ask me that, I'm going to introduce you to a knife in your chest. Is what he said to me. So that was the last time, obviously, I asked him to introduce me to Germa. Uh, he threatened to kill me. Mike, you sure that wasn't Rev? And then he said, now shut the fuck up and pick up the drumsticks. Okay, or you're going to get the hose again. Do you want the hose again, Michael? Do you want the fucking hose again? The hose. No, not the hose. Not the H. No, H-O-S-E. Said you are such a fucking embarrassment that I'm not going. No, I'm not going to introduce you to him. I'm not going to introduce you to anybody. You are the shame of my existence. You are a fucking. You are a a cancer on my life. Do not fucking ever ask me that again, you bitch. And that's the story of why. Okay, listen. He didn't say that for fucking. To be clear. Okay. What is this shit? Ask somebody to introduce. Ask him to introduce you to. First of all. No. That's weird. D don't you understand how inherently weird that would be? I would like to meet Germa. But if it happens, it happens. If it happens naturally. Yeah, I'd like to meet Germa. But I'm going to be like. D would you come introduce me to somebody? Who's He's kind of my hero. Like what? I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm 38 years old, guys. No. Use your fucking brains. You know, this goes back to chat not thinking about things before they say it. Like, it goes back to, like, you know, you, the, I don't know. That's so weird. Like, do you think about this shit before you say it? Rubber Chuck, thanks for 11 months of support. Chat doesn't have dignity. Mike, we can't think. And anytime we try to use a, comple a complex sentence, we get auto-modded into oblivion. Who is James McCaffrey?
It's on the ban list. The anti... No, that's John McAfee. This says James... McCaffrey? Who the fuck is that? Wisp? Were you trying to put John McAfee on here? Mike, that's Max Payne, the, from the, the video game character. That's his real name? Oh, he's the voice actor. He died. This was this was a Paul Revere. This was this was a Paul Revering issue. Yep. 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 This was another Paul Revere. That's what it is. Just to be clear, for those of you who don't understand the Paul Revere thing, don't you think it is fucking insane? We're all sitting in here trying to have a good time, and somebody comes in and is like, Hello! I don't have a I don't have anything to, to ding up here. I don't have any yeah, wait, yes, I do. Hold on. Hear ye, hear ye! The insert celebrity is dead! Stop. Don't do that. Don't fucking do that. Don't ever do that. But you know what? Most of you are not going to do that. You want to know what the, what the funny part is of the Paul Revere's? I'm sorry, Wisp. You know what the funny part is of the, of, of, of the Paul Revere shit? Most of the time that happens, when somebody comes in here and does that, we've never seen their name before. We've never seen them before. It's a stranger. It's not a fucking community regular. It's not a, it's not a fucking regular viewer. It's not somebody we recognize. It's some fucking penis who sits there and goes and, like, scrolls through the Twitch, like, browsing section and looks for fucking streams that they could go into and and Paul Revere because they want to like I don't know ruin people's nights or fucking or or interrupt like basically torpedo people's fucking streams because that's what that does what do you think that fucking does when you walk into a chat room and you say somebody died you just fucking tanked that guy's stream dick you're an asshole don't do that. Paul Revere, every channel they follow. And then they leave, never to be seen again. Fuck you. Azurika says, I think I might start doing that, but with completely made up shit. Like? The artist that first concepted Thomas the Tank Engine died. I, if, I think fake Paul Revere's are based. Maybe that might that might be based if you did that, just because it's funny. Pink Puff, thanks for twenty two months. Yep, John Candy Rip. Um, we have the word L L Lester on the ban list because you guys kept saying that Dirk was L the character Lester from GTA, which it wasn't. Um. The words YouTube stream are banned. Uh, I think it was one night like you were trying to tell me it was banned, but I knew it was banned. It was pissing me off. So I said, put that on the ban list or it was down. The YouTube stream was down. Um, the words emote only are on here. What? Super Dragon is on here. I'll give you Super Dragon back. Uh, has been hotel and the hell of a boss. <laughs> Run here. We'll keep that. Check this out. Dystopian hellhole is on here. You know why that pissed me off? Because we would be playing like GeoGuessr and we would end up in like... Like, I don't know, a middle-class American suburb with, like, neatly manicured lawns. And you guys would, would would call it a dystopian hellhole. A 
Cuttlefish Captain, thanks for 31 months. Dystopian hell. I'll give you dystopian hell hole back, okay? Anthony Fantano is on here, and it's gonna stay on here. Um, I'm close. Is on here, which is an extension of, um, you know, I keep going and all that shit. Deck M eight. Thanks for the fifteen months, buddy. I'm close. Yeah, you you could if you want to refer to Anthony Fantano, you can call him by his actual name, Hackney Frortano. You you can, you can, you can talk about him. It's not like you can't talk about him, but you have to call him by his actual name. <laughs> okay, you know what else is on here? Is this the ASCII for oh uh fucking what's his name? Not Osama bin Laden. The other guy, the other guy from the other thing, the, uh, the Saddam Hussein. It's, it's this, that, is it that, that, right? <laughs> Do you want him back? Do you want him? Do you want him back? Valkyrie, thanks for 28 months. People were spamming it. I'll give it back if you promise not to. If they spam it again, just put it back on, Wisp, okay? Bert and Ernie is on the ban list. Do you know why Bert and Ernie is on the ban list? Because one night, Chatter started virulently arguing about whether or not Bert and Ernie are gay. And it was so fucking cringe that I, I immediately, I knew it needed to go on the ban list. They are. Okay, does does it, there need to be a fucking like like vitriolic ar vitriolic argument about it? It was a vitriolic fucking argument. Vitriolic, vitri. It was a vitriolic. I knew I was saying that wrong. A vitriolic argument. Nekogulet with the sixteen months. Thank you so much. Punstar says, one guy told you they were confirmed gay and you immediately got offended and banned it. No one talked about it before that decision. I can get chat logs and clips. Go get them, bro. That's not what happened. Get them. I'll wait. I'm waiting. Go get them. It's not what happened. We're going to sit here like this until Punstar collects all the clips and whatever the fuck, all the shit he said. Mike will ban Punstar when they come back. Chatters were starting to, there was an, I remember still, the live specifically, remember the argument. Some guy was like fucking salty because he didn't want Bert and Ernie to be gay. Even though the creator said, yes, Bert and Ernie are gay. And the guy was like, no, my childhood, Bert and Ernie can't be gay. And he decided to get like mad about it. And then another chatter was like, called him a homophobe or something. And it got fucking crazy. It got stupid. And then that's why fucking, they probably both got timed out. And that's why I banned it. Because you got two, you know. Really, like, the second person should have ignored the first person, and the first person should have shut the fuck up. And it's like, now, well, now, well, now you don't get to talk about Bert and Ernie at all. You could write a book about the bullshit that goes on in the chat. It's, it's the fucking, like, it's a microcosm of, like, you know, everything wrong with the world. <laughs> Lamango says he's been to the Sesame Street set. I can confirm it's puppets. 
It doesn't matter. Lamango walked in on Bert giving Ernie the most radical BJ of his life. That's how he he that's how he's able to confirm it. He saw them having sex. He saw them butt fucking. Dude. He saw both sides of the glory hole. <laughs> You know, when really it should have just been this. It should have been gay puppets. Ha, ha, ha. And then we move on with our lives. Instead of like sitting here being like, oh, well, you know what? I, you know, why does they have to be woke? Who the fuck said woke? Shut up. You know, like the fuck you, stop. No. No one said that. Shut the fuck up. And then again, you 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 don't resp don't respond to that. Don't fucking see that and be like and and bite and take the bait. You know, just stop. Cause then, cause then you're gonna get timed out too. Again, we're not trying to fucking. We're, we're <laughs> our mission is to stop bullshit. We're we're trying to stamp out bullshit in the chat room. We're trying to we're we're trying to fucking. Avoid annoyances. Neko Gula, yeah, thank you for that. Sixteen months. I thought I thought I missed one. Did I say cuttlefish captain? Thank you, cuttlefish captain. Um, this one's fun. Meat and fuck is on here, guys. Because you remember when you guys wouldn't shut the fuck up about meat and fuck and meat and fuck kingdom. I will give it back, but you need to stop. Okay, with the meat and fuck. Senile is on here. The word senile. And ironically, I don't remember why. So I'll remove it. The word steam is on here. Do you guys remember why steam is on here? It's because the last time we had a big troubleshooting session, people kept insisting that the controller issue was a steam issue when we all, everybody with the brain cell knew that it wasn't. But now that that hopefully is in the past, I can give you steam back. And that's it, guys. Honestly, we didn't really take too many words off the ban list tonight. Everything else on here is kind of, kind of has to, has to be on here, I think. You know, it's kind of. So without further ado, three hours into the stream, oops, we're going to start watching the Killer Bean Forever movie. Two hours later, th try three. Without further ado, I present, I also haven't seen this, Killer Bean Forever in 4K. Let's go. Hold on. The music. Mike is the Peter Jackson of Twitch. I'm sorry. I thought that segment was great. I think a lot I think a lot of you guys we, we do that like once every couple of months we revisit this fucking band list. Let me make popcorn. You had 3 hours to make popcorn, bro. Killer Bean Studio presents Mike, the opening scene is perhaps one of the best opening scenes in movie history, and I'm not kidding. Oh, he's got the moves, dude. Oh, that's hip hypnotic. Oh, yeah. I just want to, okay, first of all, pause number one. 
This is the footage that had, remember at the beginning of the stream, I was telling you about the, the, the fucking, um, you know, the, the surveillance program information. It was over this, this footage. Subground, thanks for the 10 months. Are you watching this for real? Yes. Now this, this is how you start a movie. They should do ass to ass. Well, well, here's the thing, right? Like, they kind of are asses. Like, they have like really, really high riding ass cracks. Kind of like John Lennon in that album cover where he's standing there naked with Yoko Ono. And he has an ass crack that goes up to like the middle of his back. But then Yoko Ono's is like really, really, really small. Remember that Yoko Ono's ass crack is like, it, it's like a half inch. It's fucking wild. And the rest of it's like just meat. Like it's weird. Yeah, this kind of slaps. Yeah, they're like 50% ass crack. They're fucking hideous, holy shit. Someone out there is attracted to these things. Me, someone said. Yeah, what kind of beans are they? It's hypnotic. It's like really impressive for its time though. Now that I've seen it in context, it it makes a lot more sense that you would see like that surveillance information over this footage for some reason, right? Like what? Like doesn't it? Like it makes I don't know. I it makes sense. It makes more sense now. Yeah. Can you turn down the music? What? Can you turn down the music? I'm trying to get some sleep here. Turn down the music. How's that? What a dick. How's that? Is that much better? Turn down your damn music or I'll come over there and turn it down myself. All right. So Why is there meat inside of his mouth? Like, shouldn't it be black in there? Like, you know what I mean? You come down here, we can dance. Oh. Hello? Hello? This is like reminds me of the render from the uh, the video game case cover for Shadow the Hedgehog. Beach. Like I'm telling, I I telling you, like I seen that somewhere before. Right? Like I I fucking. Yeah, dude. Look at this. Is what I'm I'm talking about. I'm talking about this. I'm talking about this. I'm talking about, I'm talking about here. Like he's even got the gloves. It, it's literally just mirrored. Holy shit. The same image. Wait a minute. Turn down your damn music or I'll come over there and turn it down myself. All right, sucker. You come down here, we can dance. Hello? Hello? Beach? He said beach. That's how these beans roll, huh? You're my princess beach. I did not see that coming.
Oh. Oh, that's awesome. Holy shit, dude. When I don't get enough sleep, I get irritable. And you don't want to make me... Why is the animation kinda good? Like... <laughs> oh my god, the ragdolls! Holy shit! Those are incredible. Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah, did this guy worked on the Matrix unironically? I don't know in what capacity animating some of the special effects. Guys, this reminds me of the shit we did in, in Gary's mod for fucking the Detective Pikachu shit. We we did we had in, we had multiple scenes like this. Yeah. This guy was the fight choreographer for um, The Matrix, apparently. <laughs> Calling Vagin? Seven for John, maybe more. Wait, who are you? Just a bean trying to get some sleep. Wait, 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 wait. You came here just to make us turn off the music? If you were listening on the phone, I said I would come here to turn it off myself. What? Are you insane? Do you know what you just got yourself into? Do you know who I am? Do you know who my uncle is? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what the fuck? Guys, how have I not seen this before? It's just John Wick with beans. Yeah. Someone says that they're, they're, these are porn names. No, you're just a porn addict and you think all names are porn names. Found the gooner. Yo, I'm getting- guy who only watches porn, getting some big porn vibes from this. Jeff Liu was the visual effects artist for Matrix Reloaded. He did the Neo versus 100 Smiths fight. Because that had to be animated. Right. Or I, I guess like very heavily edited. They, they probably did uh, green screen for all that shit. 
and then he had to every edit everything into the scene. I'm well. Good morning. Yeah, something tells me there's nothing good about this morning. What do we got here? Multiple gunshots were reported coming from this warehouse. I was the first warehouse when I answered a call. I was the first one to answer the call. Multiple gunshots, huh? You do know whose warehouse this is. Yes, sir. Have you gone inside yet? The accents, though. No, sir. I wanted to wait for backup. Well, it's here. It, it, you know, it's just going to be like a generic, like, action slash crime drama thing. It, it, with all, like, the fucking plugged in dialogue. But they're beans. But that's just, that's, that's it. Guys, these fucking rabbit ears are pinching the sides of my fucking head like you wouldn't believe. Holy shit. Oh my god. Like, these things actually fucking hurt. Holy fuck. Oh. Slowly crushing your brain. Well, whatever's left of it at this point. My god. My Massacre. god. Not a drop of blood, by the way. Or I guess it would be There's... coffee. Chat saying they're coffee beans. There's gotta be a dozen. At least a dozen dead beans here. I guess I don't need this anymore. I mean, I, maybe you want to, like, shoot the dead bodies for fun? They are has-beans. These were all cappuccino's beans. Cappuccino's beans. Mm -hmm. Must have been some kind of gang war. No. Has been the hotel. This is no gang war. Cappuccino's beans might be dumb, but they know how to use a gun. There would have been other dead beans here, not just them. This is something else. Why did he want the characters to be beans? Maybe because they were easy to animate? Well, one thing's for sure. We won't need that search warrant we were trying to get, huh? <laughs> yeah. I could live with this. Wow. Detective Pretty fucked up. Crime well. I found something here. Pretty fucked up. A Bab. Also on the ban list. This bullet casing is the property of Killer Bean. Killer Bean. This bullet is meant for someone else. Hmm. What do you make of this? This guy's got balls, that's for sure. This bean's got balls. This bean's got beans. We got company. Let's go. Stop. Stop right there. This is the police. Hold it right there. What a goofy looking uh, bean mobile. Look at that. It's a bean MW. Yeah, Looks like some Elon Musk would design. Idea. Get your hands where I can see them. Easy, easy. Oh, please, officer, don't hurt me. Watch it. Vegan. Am I gonna know any of the voice actors in, in this? No, right? 
The guy was like, I guess I won't need this anymore, and then proceeded to keep the gun in his hand the entire time. I should have known I'd find you here, Detective Cromwell. Check out his titties. What are you doing here, Fagan? Well, obviously something happened in my warehouse. I mean, can a bean protect his own property anymore? Don't you mean Cappuccino's property? You know, your obsession with Cappuccino has become quite amusing. Always trying to link everything back to Cappuccino. Why don't you tell it to the court? You're under arrest. Arrest? For what? A traffic violation? What about this? Looking for some action here? If I were looking for some action, you wouldn't be standing before me as you do right now. Is the city called Bean Town? That's what they call Boston for some reason. When Chicago is the city with the bean in it. Shouldn't Chicago be Bean Town? Why? Apparently, they at one time ate a lot of beans in Boston. Seattle is the city that's famous for coffee, so maybe it's Seattle. Boston baked beans. Yeah? That's because I'd be shooting you with this. Just thinking about them beans. Got beans on the brain. Are you kids done yet? I say we take him in and book him right now. Book this bean! You know my lawyers will have me out even before you get me to the police station. Bake him away, toys. Time's not worth your effort. Now, is it, Cromwell? Guys, unironically, there are a lot of similarities between this and our Detective Pikachu videos. Like, this is one of the plot points in, in, the, in, the, in, my, in the fucking the first one. Like, I'm not, guys, for real. For real. Because, again, it's, it's fucking like, it was just a bunch of tropes cobbled together. And then presented in a, in, a, in a fucking stupid, hopefully funny way with like funny characters, right? Let him go. What? I said, let him go. Uh, my gun, please. Nice. You know, Vegan, you're right. You're not worth my time. However, investigating the multiple homicides in your warehouse is. And whatever else we find in your warehouse is just icing on the cake. Bean cake. You're free to go. And by the way, your car's parked illegally. You better get it out of here before we tow it. <laughs> what a dick. Oh, and Vegan. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like I'm not the only one after your boss. Oh, fuck God, that cop is so sexy. Look at him walking away. You know what? That's it. My new sexuality is this one character. I'm going, my every living, waking breath and thought is going to be a, being horny for this cop bean from, from Killer Bean Forever. That my new identity is exclusively being horny for that cop bean and nothing else. Based. Somebody just said based. Possible suspects. Rumors have surfaced saying that there is a vigilante bean in town. A vigilante bean. Bean man. Is that him? Is that bean man? I want you to think about the just the fact that he's, you know, he's not wearing pants. Why do they have pant legs but their asses are out? That's what I'm saying. I don't understand. He's wearing pant legs. But like the scene that this is actually depicting is like his his cock and balls would just be like hanging out right here. Yeah, yeah, you you get what I'm saying. Like Shift it into like reality. 
You know what I'm saying? And his franken beans are just are just hanging out. Right. Mike, it's a skin toned speedo. I see it. I see it. I see it. He's letting his 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 beans hang free. What the hell is going on out there? Ah, looks like I got someone's attention. Yeah, that usually happens when you, I don't know, murder a bunch of people and then leave their bodies laying around. Yeah, I'll do that. Basically committed a mass murder. It's like the M&Ms that can pull out their genitals. Yeah, remember that? Remember that video? Guys, is he going to snipe all the fucking cops? What what is this? What is this? I think he's just like reconning this. Get down, Mr. President. Who's this? You want to think about something fucked up? All right, we're young. You are going to think about something fucked up. I already brought it up. Zatro, thanks for 29 months. How many times do you think, like, you've been out in public and, like, this has happened to you? Where, like, somebody had a fucking, like, you know, like a scope on, trained on you. You'd never know. Of course you'd never know. Stop, I actually worry about that. Me too, that's why I'm saying it. Chatter said, I would simply dodge the bullet. Chatter said, Mike, I'm European. Yeah, you have, you know, law enforcement though. Lumpy Torch says, listen, we don't have to worry about that. We, we, did, we didn't piss off Elgato to the point where we'd have to worry about that. Mike, I didn't have that fear till you mentioned it. Thanks for haunting me. Oh, you're welcome. I think about this a lot. I think about this a lot. Like, I've been to Times Square. Do you, do you, there, there's fucking probably like NYPD snipers up in the fucking windows. Like, it, most of the time. Right. I think that I, whenever I've been there, probably it's hap it's happened. Yeah. So here's what okay. So here's what you do. Okay. At all times, you should basically, ra randomly, occasionally, just whip out your s. Just whip. Just just moon, moon the person. Right, just a kid, just to be on the safe side. That require that requires wearing pants in the first place. That will provoke them. No, it's not going to provoke. They they're not going to shoot you. They're just looking around. They're not going to shoot you. They're not going to shoot. I mean, they're you know. I mean. Well, who are you mooning? Are you mooning like the president? If you're mooning the president, then like, yeah, maybe. But if you're just mooning like, I don't know, a random pedestrian in the street, you'll have other problems, but I don't think you're going to get sniped, right? Colton, he says, I will catch the bullet with my strong ass cheeks. Mike, what if you do that, but the sniper is in front of you and he ends up seeing your small dick? Way back. Thanks for eight months, man. Great. Playtime's over. 
Was he just gonna start sniping cops though? Was he? <laughs> like, was was he gonna do it? <laughs> this ringtone goes hard. This is Killer Bean. That's just what he calls himself. That's not the name of the movie. That's his name. That's, and it's not even like a. There's no pseudonym. It's just. It's just Killer Bean. Like his friends call him KB. Like his Killer Bean. What the hell are you doing? You think this is a game? What were you thinking last night? I had a rough night. Like the, the phaser barely does anything to disguise this voice. Last night. We know what kind of night you had. Might I remind you what your mission is? You were given specific orders to hunt down and eliminate the target. No one else. Drawing this kind of attention to yourself is dangerous for us, and especially for you. What's the big deal? I killed a bunch of gangsters. I'm sure the Beantown police are a lot happier without them. It is called Beantown. You didn't do any- I predicted this. You went a favor with that mess you created last night, and you are not working for the Beantown police. You are working for us. I'll still get the job done. I'll get him. We're running out of time. He has to know you're coming by now. Remember who he is. Yeah, I know what the mission is. Then stick to it. What if we could, like, make a prostitutes movie like this that looked like this? Don't be so reckless, Killer Bean. I'll call you when I got him. Reckless. <laughs> reckless my brown bean ass. <laughs> But make it ten times hornier. It, by it by its nature, it would be hornier. Yeah. So this guy is just eating tofu squares. Like it's just that's that's the meal: squares of tofu. It's bean curd. You, no, yo, tofu is made from beans. It's cannibalism. Oh. Attention deficit, thanks for two months. Yes. Jet Bean, you have been activated for an urgent mission in Bean Town. Bean Town? I'm a long way from Beantown. It would be best to assign someone else. This mission is highly sensitive. You are the most capable for the job. The, the environments are kind of liminal. Right. <sighs> it figures. They called him Jet Bean. Is it supposed to be like, yeah, Jet Lee? Is it? Fine. I'll do it. Good. We'll contact you with the details as soon as you reach the shore. Oh, that's really stupid. Someone in chat said, very good, Mike. Hey, cunt. It was, I, I didn't believe it because of how dumb it was. Like, I think I'm allowed to be in disbelief at how stupid something is, aren't I? Should I add that? My moderator, Psionic, he's like, should I add that to the list, sir? He's so tired. He's so tired. Yeah, put very good Mike on there. Yeah, go ahead. See you in Beantown. Hey, Apple. Hey, yo, why does that Scooby have tits? Because she's serving. They better have some good food in Bean Town. She's serving. Dude, finish your fucking food. He was like walked away from it. Wait, are you leaving? Walking yes. away from a full fucking bowl of tofu. Yes. That's what happens. Yes, when people walk away, they are leaving. Obviously, he's leaving. How long will you go for? A long time. Oh, I have something I want to give to you. 
Oh, you shouldn't have. Here, it's the bill. You haven't paid in three months. I'm leaving now. I will pay when I get back. Hey, you get back here and pay now. It's called Bing Bao's Eat Food. Chin Tao, get out here. Hey. He say your food tastes like ass crack. <laughs> what? Make bean curd out of him. Yo! <laughs> I said I'll pay when I get back. He said your food tastes like butt ass and butt tussy. Oh, it's okay. It's on the house. You don't have to come back, please. Sing Sing Tao? Isn't Sing Tao a beer? What am I thinking of? What's that beer called? Yeah, it is. Chinese beer. I don't think I ever had it. I seen it on taps though. I never had it though. Looking at the figures from our previous fiscal year. Oh, that's why Ch Chatter was like, is there a German guy named Heineken? Narcotic sales have dropped 57%. Eggs. Fifty-seven percent. That's more than half. Now compare this to the three hundred percent growth from our weapons department. But you guys, you guys are not from my weapons department, are you? No. I are they a corporation? Like, what is this? What am I seeing right oh, now? Is it... You guys are from my narcotic department, okay? So what do I have to do, huh? How can I get through to you guys? Dude, I have such a hangover. Yeah, Bean, that was a kick-ass party last night, right? Seth Green? <laughs> yeah, too bad we didn't stay for the whole thing. I bet they had some fun. Chris Griffin? Yeah. You see, it's easy when you think about it. Crime is on the rise, okay? Some more guns sell, because criminals use guns. Hello? They also use drugs. Some more drugs should sell, right? So it, they're, it, it's, they're a gang, but they have a fucking office and a skyscraper? What's the problem here? Now you guys, someone give me a reasonable explanation of why are they? Why, why is he tiny? Okay. Look how high the desk is. Why are narcotic sales performing so poorly? It's all those anti-drug commercials on TV. You never see any anti-gun commercials. You wouldn't smoke a bean, would you? It's not fair. It has become quite apparent to me that some of you do not value your job. Now, that is quite all if you ask me. Especially in today's economy. You wouldn't download a bean. But I am forced to say, it is time to lay off a few beans. Oh! <laughs> time to move he had ages to react to that and he just didn't he just didn't oh. <laughs> <laughs> he got defenestrated He was too stoned to do anything about it. Uh, wait. I have a question. Yes. Will I be eligible for unemployment? Hmm. Let me check with the finance department on that, okay? <clears throat> I saw 
social security <laughs> number is? That's great. Three, four, six. Oh, they didn't show him landing. Uh... Oh, boy. Is my batting average going to go up after this? <clears throat> Gamer Bean. Hang on, let me just finish this level. I like the music, it's very stupid. Gabuchino. Yo, what game has you like this? What video game has you not having a, a, a survival reflex in the face of certain danger? What 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 game does that? Nintendo Dogs, Candy Crush, Hentai Simulator, Balatro. Was at the recording studio yesterday, and Vinny was playing Bal Balatro on his his fucking. Uh, what do you call it? Like, uh, what is a ste uh, Steam Deck? While like we were doing uh, drum tracks and shit, and like I could have, I could have driven a car into him, and he wouldn't, he wouldn't have noticed. Yeah, it's like crack to him. Yeah, he's he's hitting that Bolatro pipe pretty fucking hard. Yeah. Bolatro? Am I saying it wrong? What's the what 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 now, assholes? He's addicted. He's pretty addicted. Bolatro. What do you want me to fucking call it? You guys are so cringe. Oh, there again. It's not delivery, it's Bellatro. I'm glad you're here. Maybe you can teach these beans something about business, since you've handled my weapons department so well. That bean is nothing but a kiss-ass brown noser. They can't, how could they be brown nosers? They don't have noses. What does he know that we don't know? Yeah, we're gonna put Bolatro on the ban list, guys. You keep this fucking shit up. Well, he's making millions of dollars selling weapons. If you ask me, he's doing something illegal. Oh, it's great to see you, Vag. It's pretty funny. Again. But you have to excuse me. I'm in an important meeting right now. Mike, I like my chat. Also, Mike, what now, assholes? Yeah, we have a, that's, you know, that's, that's our relationship. This is more important. Cool Buster, thanks for uh, coming to check out the stream. A Chinese impression scene is going to be a little, uh, it's about the a little spicy. Warehouse on Baker Street. Oh, that, it's okay. Is it a little spicy? Is it? I know. You. Is it like that time that Luigi did, did an Asian impression? No. Yeah. My nephew was having a party there last night, okay? Already passed it? Talking about the guy having like, an Asian accent? That, that, was the, that was the racist part? No, it's not about the party. Mario's Chinese cowboy? Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Party. Well, it is. There was a hit on the warehouse. Everyone is dead. Who? This. They were dancing happily. They didn't deserve to die. I have reason to believe that it was done by a bean named Killer Bean. His voice acting is epic. Right. Killer Bean. What? Bean? Yeah, the dumpies were dancing merrily. This is no ordinary bean. I've heard of him before. I know what he can do. Who the hell is he? Who sent him? Is it the Colombians? Is it the French trying to roast me? It has to be one of your competitors. <sighs> Whoever it is, I want you to find them. I want you to find them and destroy them! Is it the civet trying to eat me and then shit me out? And then make that into coffee? Oh, believe me, I will try. But first, we have Killer Bean to deal with. He's somewhere out there, and he's coming after you. All right. 
We need to consolidate all of our warehouses. There's too many targets for him to attack. Follow Bean Greaser. Our inventory to the central warehouse on Main Street. I want you to protect that place. What Mikey, thanks for nine months. What about Killer Bean? What do you want me to do? Oh, nothing. Just send him a box of chocolates and tell him thanks for the memories. You idiot. What do you- We don't have his address, sir. What do you think you should do? Kill him. Actually, sir, he's lactose intolerant. They would have to be dark chocolate. He would- He would get IBS from the milk chocolate. Any way you can, by any means, put him in the ground! Chocolate also made from beans, so that would also be cannibalism. I'll need more beans. Professional beans. I love the glasses, like, not really making sense on his face. Put it on my credit card, okay? Just do it. Yes, sir. Bean shopping spree! Again? Make sure you find out who sent him. There will be hell to pay. No, I don't... I don't, I don't think, look at Vegan's, like, his outfit. I don't believe they're wearing pants. I think they just wear pant legs. And their junk and assholes are just hanging out all the time. Yeah, it's just pant legs. They just free bowl everywhere. Such an epic, like, exit that he just had. Oh. They're not going to show us, like, the bean-on-bean bean violence. Hello. Hey, Harry. I really wanted to see the other ones go out the window. Detective Cromwell. Hey, Cromwell. Hey, did you get the package I sent you? Yeah, it's uh, pretty wild stuff. Our crime lab is getting nowhere with this. What do you make of it? Well, uh, the easy one is the tire tread sample. I tested the residue you sent, and the tires are made from silicon steel fiber alloy. You know what he did? He... He did fingerprints. It's only used on uh, high-performance cars. It's not unique, but it's hard to come by. Hmm. What about the gold bullets? Now that. In my 15 years with Special Forces, I've never seen gold used in any weapon. But for practical purposes, gold is a very soft metal. So the bullets expand and deform on high impact. Yeah, wouldn't that be, like, horrible, technically, to use gold in, in they make ballistics? Like, wouldn't that actually be... The, wouldn't, wouldn't, the, wouldn't the casings just disintegrate? Like, what? Hungry Spy, thanks for 71 months. It would be really stupid. Yeah. Little holes on the way in and big holes on the way out. And they are much harder to match to ballistic signatures. That makes them relatively untraceable. Yeah, it doesn't make sense if the bullet casings have his name on it. And he left those everywhere. Uh, yeah, Killer Bean. Yeah, I, I don't get that. He, he must be one sick bean, like he wanted to be found out. Yeah, or he's bragging. Or just plain careless. As Killer Bean has to be working for someone to get that kind of financial backing. You think he's a gun for hire? One sick bean, chat. Boy. One sick bean. He could be a vigilante. That's the word on the street. Either way, one thing's for sure. He has his eyes set on Cappuccino. <laughs> well, then you both have something in common. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if that's true, I have a hunch where this killer bean will show up next. Hey, I gotta go. I see ya, Harry. Are their faces, like, really upsetting anybody else? They they're kind of disturbing somehow. Later. Chatter said, I want to see their love triangle blossom. Yeah? Guys, do me a favor. Can you head over to R34 and tell me how many results there are for Killer Bean, please? Just curious. Can, you, can we do that? Can one of you do that for me, please? Psionic said no. What do I pay you for? I already checked. Four. Click one. <laughs> Click what? what what's up, Cablo Cablo Chulong? I uh, I can't read that name. Thanks for checking out my channel, bud. Four.
four and they suck. One has big boobs. The detective bean has a massive cock. <laughs> My, there's a single SFW result on E6. That's exceptional. Exceptional, you say? All right. It's E, what is it? E621.net? All right, let me see. Ki Killer Bean. Uh, no? No. I, I got nothing. I don't, it, it's not coming up. There's nothing coming up here. Ah, oh, cock. <sighs> hmm, this page doesn't exist. Shit. 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 Sasha, can you post that again, please? I don't know anything about the fucking under... Oh, God, the underscores. Yeah, because you guys are fucking gooners. This is what I'm saying. It says, uh, okay, not like other girls. I'm not like other beans. Hmm. Um... Did you make this, Sasha? Did you? Did you make that? I feel like you made that. Did you make that? You made that, didn't you? Yeah. You made that. You made that. It's a self-plug. Yeah, yeah. This puppy runs on 100% clean green bean juice. Call it the mean bean machine. Guys, this looks like Gary's mod. I don't know how to explain it. Ooh. The lighting is flat. There's no shadows, right? Dramatic entrance. Dramatic entrance. Chatter said, God, he's so fucking hot. Pretty much frees up my day. Oh, there's a bomb in here. Was I supposed to be able to read that? The fucking music. <laughs> so the guy can see through walls? He's got the wall hacks, yeah. 
He's roll spamming. He's panicking. Spine tingling. Hair raising and spine tingling. Maybe if you didn't use gold bullets, it would have penetrated the rifle, right? I still can't fucking read that. He went. Time for some breakfast. So we're just going to forget that. Ha what if he's still up there? What? Shadow Bean, you are too late. I told you this bean reminded me of Shadow. They're even calling him Shadow Bean. I don't think he's the faker. I think Shadow's the fucking faker. Doesn't this bean predate Shadow the Hedgehog's existence? This is where Sega got the inspiration for that character. Yeah. What will it be? Tequila, tonic, and uh, turn up the TV. Detective Cromwell, concerning possible suspects, rumors have surfaced that there is a vigilante bean in town who is hunting down Cappuccino. Uh, there is no evidence for your vigilante theory. As far as I'm concerned, the suspect or suspects involved in these homicides are no friends of the police. We will do what is necessary to bring them to justice. Thank you. I don't think so. I'll have another. And you can turn that crap off now. Love the idea of a bar being open at like 9 a.m. But yeah, where is the rest of the people? Like, where is the... It's, it's a very dead-feeling place, right? Normal in Florida? No. The significance of the car to him is that he knows that what the tire tracks that that the car made the tire made those tire tracks from the fucking warehouse. How does he know that? Is he also a car expert? He's like Marissa Talme from My Cousin Vinny. He saw a high end car, and he knew that the tire track came from a high end car. That's brain dead. It's also cringe that you guys are posting that because I said the name Vinny as if there's only one Vinny on Earth. Did I, t I, I told you guys about that Vinny's bus, uh, Vinny's bus service thing that time? When Vinny, how do, uh, what, 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 all right, so. I think Vinny got an email from someone or I, I, I think it, it it wasn't in person, like a con or something. It was like an email he got. And they were like, Hey, bye, Vinny. I want to show you this because I do And they said, they I'm doing it. I shouldn't use the voice for that. And they said, because that's my voice. And they said, uh, I want to show you something because I didn't know you had a bus service. <laughs> and the person send them, sent them a photograph of a bus that they saw on the street that said Vinny's bus service on the side of it.
and they took a picture of it and emailed it to Vinny and said, I didn't know you had a butt third for third. And he's like, I, I don't have words for how cringe this is. I just, I, I, he, he was, he was fucking dumbfounded. Like he couldn't come on. He was probably 14, bro. You know, that's not true. You know, that's not fucking true. That guy was in his late 20s. Yeah, I got bro. How do people think that's funny? The guy thought it was so hilarious that he took a picture of the bus and emailed it to Vinny. And Vinny was like, I can't imagine being... Like, like I don't want to believe that there's people out there that are... Like, this big of, of fucking losers. Like, that makes me sad. That somebody's this that this pathetic of a human being, like this is fucking depressing. Like really, it's really fucking sad. I feel like there's worse things to do. Tita, stop coping. Okay, that that is fucking so. It's so cringe. That's so fucking cringe. It's again. It, that's the same vibe as like when I say Germany. Chatter goes, Germa's knee, question mark? That's the same tier of humor. When I say germaphobe and people spell it with a J, it's that same tier, like that, like that's you. Right? That's you. That's the same genre of, of, of com comedy. That's the same. It's not a big deal, Mike. You're saying that because... You're the one who sent him the picture. <laughs> Mike's comedy is far more cerebral, such as eating shit and cum. Yes. And? Correct. Moving on. What can I get you? I'll have what he's having. Oh, you don't want what he's having, dude. He's having ass juice. This is a rough part of town. You always sit with your back to the entrance. Entrance. Doesn't matter who comes in. Isn't it against police regulation to be drinking during the day? Sassy. I'm a detective. Our regulations are a little different. See, for detectives, we have to be drinking during the day. How'd you know I was with the police? You know, you're much uglier in person. <laughs> My name is Detective Cromwell, and you are... His eyelids are out of sync. All of their eyelids are out of sync, I've noticed. Jack. This is the Death Note scene? Gonna tell my kids this was Kira and L. Well, Jack. I guess you heard what happened this morning over at the warehouse on Baker Street. Yeah, I know about that. Really? Tell me what you know. Why don't we cut to the chase? Why don't you tell me what you know? Oh, I know a lot. I know the Baker Street warehouse is owned by Cappuccino. I know someone killed 12 beans in that warehouse last night. Mm -hmm. I know the killer drove a fancy car and has fancy guns. I know that the warehouse across the street with the big hole in the window also belongs to Cappuccino. I see this fancy car parked in front, and well, it don't look like you walked here. So my guess is, this belongs to you. Well, it looks like you figured it all out. His reasoning 
is very stupid. Good job. Very good, Detective Cromwell. Another. It was easy. Good job, Detective Cromwell. Good job, yes. Aren't you a big, smart boy? You were just reckless. The way I see it, you're the one who's being reckless. You come out here looking for me by yourself, you didn't bring anyone to back you up. That's reckless. Here's my backup. <laughs> why why is it actually tense? They're beans. <laughs> That's a nice gun. Want to see mine? Why did he do that? Why did he why did he do that? Why did The sexual tension is crazy between these two beans. How can I see it if you have it against the side of my head? It's a pretty cool gun. Not Looks cool. Bad. But mine's bigger. Here, let me put the gun down. Like, like, why? Here's my backup. Here's the only thing I have to defend myself with. I'm going to place it down on the table. For no reason. You do the math. Three? Why are you after Cappuccino? That's for me to know, and you not to know. Well, I know I can't have a crazy vigilante running around shooting up beans. But you're no vigilante, are you? Seems like there are beans who've invested in you. And I'm sure they're not happy with the press you're getting. This is where I can help you. I don't need help. Chat, there's, there's someone in chat right now who's already drawing these two characters having sex. you sink. I'm bound by the law. I've been working this cappuccino case. <laughs> Mike, it's okay. They're beans, so it's not gay. For over three years. Every time we think we have something on him, his lawyers get in the way and get him out. <laughs> I wish I was like you. I hear the bass. Yeah, it's I awesome. I wish I could just walk up to him and shoot him. But I can't. It's too bad. Because I know where Central Warehouse is. Not these abandoned warehouses like that one out there. Why don't you pay him a visit? You got the wrong bean. I'm not just some hired gun. Who says I'm hiring you? You already have a boss, don't you? I bet he doesn't really like all that attention that you're getting from the media. I can make that go away. I control the evidence. And the evidence says it could have been some rival gang that killed all the cappuccinos beans last night, or... He's a crooked bean. He's not a good bean. He's a bad bean. Or it could be you. Playing both sides. Well, that's, you know, that's... You know how it gets, uh, you know... The, the line gets blurry out there sometimes, man. You know, I mean... And I have... A gotta, sometimes you gotta just, you gotta play dirty. You know? A lot of evidence that says that. <laughs> Are you gonna take me in? It's a toxic bean. I can take you down. Oh, I would enjoy that. Th the guy drawing right just actually jizzed his pants. Like that guy just ejaculated in his fucking pants.
Freeze! Get out of my bar, you punks! I, I know how to use whoa, this! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put the gun down, Grandpa Bean. Hold on! I'm a cop! This is very well lit for a bar, by the way. Like, like we were saying how this the, the, the fucking movie has really flat lighting. The bars are dark, typically. Right? It's... Put down your gun! I don't trust any of you. You drop your guns, both of you. Yeah, most bars don't have windows like this. Not that I've, in my experience. Sorry, Grandpa. It doesn't work like that. It's more, it, it doesn't look like a bar. It looks like a restaurant. This stream is single-handedly driving up the E621 results. Bean sexuals. Okay, okay. Slowly lower my gun. And I'm gonna go, alright? Alright? This will be real easy. You said you were gonna lower it. You raised it. It's the opposite of lowering it. See? This is easy. Killer Bean, remember what I said. We can help each other. Just tense for absolutely no reason. Just help yourself out the door. Well, I mean, the reason was, was awesome. This is how it ends. Oh my God, he kind of does sound like Mike. This is for the drinks, mine and his. Now, you mind if I go to the bathroom before I go? Guys, do you think the beans get weird with the giant full body length ass cracks? Be quick, your life depends on it. So dramatic. Like when he takes a shit, do you think it comes out like in the middle of his back? Half-Life One Footstep sound effect. Sorry, it was a double flusher. <laughs> but I only heard one flush, and it was a weird flush too, wasn't it? Listen. Sorry, it was a. It's a bizarre flush sound, right? Listen to this shit. Sorry, it was a double flusher. <laughs> he had to flush a coffee log. <laughs> a double flusher. <laughs> so stupid. And unnecessary, right? Yeah, it's a uh, it's a double flusher. We're gonna need you. He, I'm gonna need you to do the second flush. But you only flushed once. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> He's looking at his face. <laughs> <laughs> he so he, he got like depressed. <laughs> hey, don't I know uh, you from it's somewhere? It's fucking great. Who is Shadow Bean? <laughs> You're in way over your head. Who is Shadow Bean? You don't have to yell. I'm right next to you. Answer me, <sighs> are the two of you? You're not gonna shoot me if you need the answers. Besides, I can't answer you anyway. So, I'll have to do this instead. Holy shit.
He got flipped. Beanzillion Jiu-Jitsu. Good idea for you to stay down. We'll settle this later. Oh, you're not as dumb as you look. Holy shit. Enemies to lovers. Hello. Harry, it's Cromwell. Hey. Ah, my hunch was right. Killer Bean hit Cappuccino's warehouse on the east side. In fact, he was still there when I got here. You know who they should have got to VA for this? They should have got, um, they should have got Sean Bean. Whoa, how did that go? Yeah, not as well as I would have liked. Hey, listen, I got some new info. Uh, I found a note in front of Cappuccino's warehouse. It said, Shadow Bean, you are too late. Does that mean anything to you? Harry, you still there? But he would die. Yeah, and? I didn't know they were still in operation. Who? The Shadow Beans. Har Harry, what's going on? They're uh, highly trained operatives of an organization called the Shadow Agency. Shadow Agency? What are they, a government agency? Why haven't I heard of them? I think they were a private organization. There are some things the government does that are not meant to be known. Their collaboration with the Shadow Agency was one of them. When diplomatic and military tactics failed, our government hired the Shadow Agency to eliminate national security threats. See, now it makes even more sense that they would show, like, like espionage uh, information or, like, again, national surveillance information, like, at the, at the start, over the intro to this movie. It was more cost-effective than training and maintaining our own elite assassins. It's fucking Foxhound. And the Fo Fox die, right? It's Fox die? Well, and Fox die was the... The shit that they used to kill Foxhound. Beans were better than anything we had. Great. But why here? What are the Shadow Beans doing in Bean Town? And what could they possibly want with Cappuccino? I don't know. I thought the shadow agency was disbanded. I, I know our government I, I just don't understand why this guy made this movie. Like, I, it's great, but why, why does this exist? Why does this exist? I stopped using them nearly a decade ago. I haven't heard of them since. So, yeah, yeah, the RTX reflections. So do you think this killer bean is a shadow bean operative? It sounds like he's certainly good enough to be. Well, what do you think I should do to stop him? I don't even know if you can stop him, but you can start by putting all your cops on double duty. It was one guy made the entire thing. Because passion and creativity are a wonderful thing. Right. Has been hotel. You know he's working on a video game adaptation. I, you guys keep saying it. Yeah. This is the place. Dramatic entrance. Bean, I hate this job. It's so freaking boring. All we do is sit around and drink beer. You... Sounds awesome. What? Are you kidding? This is my dream job. Thank you. Hey, we're not supposed to be just sitting around drinking beer. Remember what Vegas said? He said we got to move all those crates by morning. Just grenades casually sitting on this table for absolutely no reason. Find this stuff? We are screwed. Where are we supposed to move them? I don't know. I didn't really listen to that part. Who's developing this game? Hey, give me another beer. Oh, yeah. Have mine. I shouldn't drink anymore. <laughs> <coughs> I have a really bad cold. All right. Wait, is this a low carb beer? Why is there like some weird goop on the on the bottle? Hey, speaking of beer, did you beans hear what happened at the party last night? Some dude went in there and killed everyone. 
Why does it feel like it, the, the conversation feels like it's just a bunch of non sequiturs? Like, I shouldn't drink anymore. I have a bad cold. Was the joke like he was going to share his drink with the other guy and it was going to be gross? Was that? He even killed Cappuccino's nephew. It feels like chat GPT. Yeah, Tita. Yeah. Jeez. Who was this being that killed everyone? Is he someone I should be worried about? Nah, he's probably just some crazed lunatic running around with lots of guns. You know, that's the problem with this country. Too many crazed lunatics with guns. Isn't that right, baby? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, lunatics aren't the problem. The real problem is the guns. What this country needs is some serious gun control. Yo, Killer Bean getting political? I mean, we need to take away all the guns. All of them. And just get rid of them. But not my gun. So it called so in the chat called it a family guy bit. Well, yeah, kinda. Like what we got here is a standoff. <laughs> Not really. Uh, hey, Alexander, thanks for checking out the channel. Alexander says, God, he's hot. Why do you guys need to be horny for the beans? Why? Why do you need to be? Why do you need to be horny for the beans? Why? Over there. Because, Mike, he's not like other girls. Oh my god, was that the pose? Here is a standoff. <laughs> it is! <laughs> it is! Hey, Froggy, thanks for the resub. The bullets would go straight through the wood table. Right. Oh, the rag dolls are so fucking good. Hello. Hey, the bee in attack. I think it's Killer Bean. How do you know? Well. He's killing him. <laughs> We're sending the mercenaries. Just hold tight. D this guy is is fucking uh, Morpheus coded, right? Oh, 
And don't forget, this was being worked on simultaneously as the Matrix. This guy worked on the Matrix. Mike, how much would you pay for this movie to watch it at an AMC? I would prefer to see this in IMAX over Dune 2. I will go. I, I will get, like, a, a, a fuck. I'll get food there. I'll spend, like, 90 bucks. That's probably... If I went to the fucking movie theater to see a movie right now, and I got, like, dinner and, like, a, a beer, it would probably cost, like, 90 bucks. The whole, the whole night out would cost 90 bucks by myself. I would do it. For this movie, I would do it. Dinner, beer at a theater? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's like normal now. Fred's here, he says, Mike, if you took me to see this movie on a first date, I would put out. Don't light up. You would put out no matter what, Fred. Let's not, let's not fucking kid ourselves here. Grenade! <laughs> yes! <laughs> the ragdolls are so good. <laughs> they are so good. What the fuck? Oh my god. Holy shit. This is the second time this has happened in this movie. Oops. Did you hear about the guy who got drunk at a movie theater and jacked himself off to sleep? I feel like that probably happens a lot. Like, what, do you, what do you mean? Like... Guys. Guys, my bunny ears are floppy now. Was up the goat? I was said guy. Yeah, that's probably again. I was gonna say probably one of you. Probably the guy who said that. Hey, did you hear about that guy who fucking got drunk and jerked off and fell asleep in the movie theater? Yeah, that was me. Aren't I epic? You want to hear something bad? I can't go to the movies anymore because I will fall asleep during the fucking movie. Yeah, I'm t I'm actually too old to go to the movie theater anymore. Yeah, we're we're I'm there. I'm there. Mike, do you think the beans poop? Yeah, haven't you ever heard of bean paste? You know what's fucked about movie theaters? And we've had this problem in New York City for a really long time. The movie theaters are infested with bed bugs. So basically, you, you go watch a movie and while you're sitting there for two hours, these little fuckers are crawling onto your clothes. And then you bring them back to your house and they crawl off your clothes and you get a fucking bed bug infestation in your house. So, like, basically, you want to come home from the movie theater and then take all your clothes off and immediately wash them. Right? Why do you have to plant that seed in my mind? 
My sister, I, I mean, th this is this is to help you, like, so you're aware it's a thing. My sister was at a movie theater and with her uh, her boyfriend, and she went up to use the bathroom. And while she was in the bathroom, her boyfriend saw three rats came out of a hole in her seat. Like ran into the aisle, grabbed some popcorn, and then ran back inside of her seat. And he and when she came back, he was like, "We're, we're not seeing this movie tonight. We're leaving." And she was like, "Why?" And he was like, "Just, just, just trust me." My, this is why I have a colony of geckos roaming free in my apartment. No bugs here. Well, we all can't be, you know, clinically insane. I mean, if only. Yeah, I just set a bunch of lizards free to roam around my apartment. Mike, your sister has ass rats. Those rats came from her ass. Dude, he's got a toothpick. Oh, I can see we came to the right place. You made. Oi! He out oh, golf. He's British. Short work of these beans. Tuesday, isn't it? Don't expect the same fight from us. My squad has been with me through hell. I hand selected them myself from the academy ten years ago. All of them graduated with top honors. I led these beans through three tours of duty, accumulating a total of 15 medals of honor, 11 purple hearts. I'm sure we lost a few good beans. But you should see what we did to the other bloke. <laughs> He's going to instantly kill all of them. Well, then we went into business for ourselves. Escort detail for high-level dignitaries. Hostage extraction. Corporate assassinations. Preemptive surgical strikes. Or just plain search and destroy. Heck, we even robbed a few federal banks when business was slow. So, so this little shindig we got here, I mean, it's nothing. It's just a walk in the park. If he was as professional as he's saying he is, if he was as professional of a bean as he's making it out to be, he wouldn't have done the villain monologue. He would have walked in here and immediately shot this guy and then went and collected his paycheck. All right. He's full of shit. Bad OPSEC. Bad OPSEC, bro. OPSEX. Love that. Had OPSEX with your mom. Chatter. Was based. Are you going to say something or what? Huh? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I must have totally zoned out on you. He has Sonic the Hedgehog energy. Whoa, my eyes are starting to water. Whew. <laughs> sorry. Let's make one thing clear. Last night was a party. Tonight, I get to work. Chili dogs. Yep. Guys, did you know that the Sonic the Hedgehog VA, the guy who voices Sonic in the movie, narrated uh like a like an HGTV show about dresses it was like bridezillas or some shit and here's the thing he sounds exactly like sonic the hedgehog like it just it just sounds like sonic the hedgehog is narrating a fucking TV show about weddings <laughs> Get 
and not a single drop of blood. Guys, this is amazing. I miss when action movies uh, didn't give a fuck. You want to see an action movie that really doesn't give a fuck? You need to watch that RRR movie that from, from uh, Bollywood. You, you're going to fucking, dude, you're going to cry laughing at that movie. That it movie is incredible. I... It, and it doesn't give a single fuck. You gotta watch that. A Indian action movies are pretty much anime. It, it's like a fucking three hour long JoJo episode. Alright, there's no stands, but they might as well have stands. Caffeinated. <laughs> so stupid. That's so bad. Oh, oh my God. No way. Kenography. Look at their ass cracks, bro. <laughs> the music. And it's, it's the way it presents itself, too. Like, it presents itself so seriously, right? Like, it, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it presents itself seriously, but it, it also knows what it is. You, you know what I mean? Like, it, it understands its own conceit, right? Like, ah. This fucking guy. Oh! Oh, oh. <laughs> ah, well. He did the motorbike sack gambit. It's worth a try. This is not a good idea. We should kill him now. Patience, Vegan. I need answers. Holy shit. I need. Alright, well, look, I think we're at, like, the all hope is lost moment of the movie. Which. Is a pretty cool time for a uh, pee break, which I gotta do. So, um, I'm gonna be back. It's just gonna be a one minute pee break. Everybody, go pee. All right, literally, liter I'm I'm serious. I mean, one fucking minute. Go pee. Real quick though, if you're new to this channel tonight, and I did see some first time chatters here this evening, thank you for checking out the channel again. I really appreciate it, guys. If you are new here, please check out the links in the chat. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to the YouTube channels. And join the Discord server where you're going to get stream notifications every night. 
Um, again, one minute pee break. I'm going to be literally right back. It's one minute. It, so so do, do your pee pee fast. I just noticed that no one posted the links. Interesting. Uh, here we go. I will post the links. They're right there. So there you go. Again, you can follow me on Twitter, subscribe to the YouTube channels, and join the Discord server for stream notifications every night. There you go. Here they, here they are. Just want to make sure that Everybody sees them and they don't get lost in the the ocean of the the twinks. I'm back. Sorry, guys. It was a uh, double flusher. Uh, if you know what I mean. It was a big shit. Oh, it was one minute, 30 seconds? Yeah, I... I told you. Thanks for the bits, Peaceful Autistic. Uh, RRR is not Bollywood. It is Telugu. Netflix only has Hindi dub. And you gave me fi 500 bits? So does that mean you're going to give me 500 bits every time I say the wrong thing about RRR? So should I just keep saying the wrong things about RRR and just, you're just giving me, like, infinite money glitch? Um, Kevera, thanks for the gifts up. The Discord notifies you when Mike is live. The Discord notifies you when Mike is live, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, Mike, I'm going to give you bits every time you say my name correctly. But Tita, I've been saying your name correctly. You owe me a lot of bits. You owe me so many bits. You didn't read the quotation marks. I'm, I'm too intellectual to see quotation marks that are sarcastic or ironic. My, my interpretation of it is I've been saying it correctly. I'm going to continue to say it correctly. Cerebrally outranked. Goyes says, imagine having a name that gets said wrong. Couldn't be me. Goyes, there's no other way to pronounce your name, but like, did what, like, Joyas? Like, is it a soft G? What is it, man? You know what? I, uh, tell me. What, what is it?
It's gay ass? Oh, I've, it's been gay ass this whole time? You've been saying it right. Oh, so you... So you meant what you said on ironically then? I don't know, dude, your your statement came across as very uh, uh, sarcastic. No? Like... Right? Didn't it? How strange. Yeah, the tone of his typing was implied sarcasm, right? And now back to your regularly scheduled programming. The answers from him. I do. I do have a communications degree, and you all act like I uh, like I don't sometimes, which frankly, frankly upsets me. I gotta say, I gotta be honest. I wish you guys would take it a little bit more seriously and show me a little bit more deference, you know? Huge raid? Oh! Fuck! Oh, Coney! <gasps> Thank you so much for the raid, dude! Oh, I hope you're having a great night, man. Mods, let's get a shout-out for Coney. Can we get a shout-out for Coney? How you doing, Coney? It, uh, what was uh, what was Coney doing it over there? What was he? What was he doing tonight? Playing Rat Tattooey. There's a Rat Tattooey game Th that exists. What is it? Is it, it's like a uh, uh, Cooking Mama type shit? It's on GameCube. PS2, Xbox, and GameCube. Dude, I've never heard of this. It's an adventure game? You know what's wild about the concept of a Rat Tattooey video game is the Rat Tattooey controls the guy. Right? By yanking on his hair and shit. But then you control Rat Tattooey. So it's like three levels deep. Of like meta, of controlling, of control, you know? And then really you in real life are being tugged by the strings of fate. So aren't we all rats in some guy's hair under a chef hat at the end of the day? Really makes you think. If you're an idiot. Real shit. It is. There's real shit. Real shit. At the, at the end of the day, and then, yeah, so it's like, oh, four levels deep. Dozens of chatters getting auto-modded for no reason. Why are they getting auto- they, Did they get auto-modded? Why are they getting auto-modded? It's a platformer. This game would have to have some element of, like, cooking game to make sense. Now, if, it, did you, if you tell me there's a Rat Tattooey video game, I'm expecting a game... Where you cook. Right. There's, there are some cooking sections. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right, all right, all right. Can you make duck l'orange? Duck l'orange? L'orange? The blacklist. What do you think the chatters were saying to get to get timed out? Just so you guys know, we have about 15,000 banned words in this channel at... Because I'm a fucking insane person, frankly. So, like, you could be trying to say something totally benign. And the, and the auto mod will just delete your message. <laughs> Don't take it personally. Mike Germa played the Rat, the rat Tattooey game. Oh, yeah? Oh, because of... That's why they got auto modded. Oh, because Germa. Oh, that's so good. I listen, really. Okay, so we, we actually went over this earlier tonight. The reason his name is on the is on the banned words list is because every time I say a, a word that sounds like Germa, these fucking losers all do like all all say his name and try to do wordplay with his fucking name. So now, like, I'm going to Germany next week, and I tell them that, and they say, Germa's knee? 
Like his fucking leg joint, his knee. And it's it's the one of the most painfully on funny things I've ever fucking seen. Not just in a Twitch chat room, but in my entire life. Now, I want to take Jerma's name off the ban list, but you guys have to fucking behave. Like, you guys gotta, you gotta promise me that you're not gonna do that if I take his name off the fucking ban list. I will consider it, but you gotta not, I swear to God, you gotta not do it. I'm a chronic laugh for it on funny shit. To be fair, most of the people who hang out in this channel are chronic laughers at on funny shit. I mean, that's kind of comes with the territory of being here. Like, let's keep it real. However, that even I have a fucking limit. Okay? The blacklist doesn't work on puns, so Germany is fine. Oh, they're still doing it. Well, okay, the, the, the guy's name is staying on the ban list, and you can blame that guy right there. His name is Zickflip. That's the reason why we, we ain't taking this shit off the ban list. Yerma. Yerba Mate. It is, though. It's just so cringe, man. It, you know, it's just the, it's the guy's name. Anyway, Coney, thank you so much for the raid, dude. If you're hearing this, I, I, I really appreciate it. And let me give a shout out to, again, the um, the Raiders who just didn't immediately leave because I know how it is. Most people do, and I don't blame them. That's how that's how raids go. You you know, it, it, we, the stat is something like 6% of people actually stay and check out the streamer. So if you decided to do that personally from me to you, I appreciate it. Thank you for checking out a new channel, giving a new streamer a chance even though he is wearing rabbit ears and is very obviously some kind of fucking loser it's, I'm, 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 it's, I'm being festive okay it's fucking Easter I remember a time when a man could put on a pair of fucking bunny ears okay to celebrate a holiday in this country but nowadays if a man wants to put on rabbit ears he's a furry uh, he's, he's a femboy he's a fucking you know uh Cat boy, rabbit boy, whatever the fuck. I don't know what the word is. Okay, rabbit man. What is it? Bunny boy, all right? No, I'm just a fucking testosterone-filled man. Masculine dude's dude. A man's man. Okay? Who enjoys holidays. Okay? I'm a masculine dude, bro. Okay? In bunny ears, all right? Expand your horizons. Stop trying to put people in boxes. All right. Who says himbos can't be bunnies? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. A very insecure man. I could take the fucking rabbit ears off. Is that what you want? I'll, t I'll do it. I'll take them off. And then you'll regret. You'll regret it. You'll regret busting my, nu my nuts. My bunny nuts. Then you're going to be sorry if I take these shits off. Keep them on. I'm close. Looks like, Wisp, you got to put I'm close on the ban list, but you got to replace the O with the zero. All right. What intensity is your vibrating butt plug on right now? Six. Not that that's relevant to anything, but six. Intensity level six with the heat. Not, not that it matters. God, you guys. Anyway, we're watching the Killer Bean movie. It's uh, pretty rad. It's pretty killer. We're about uh, 53 minutes in, so if you want to avoid spoilers, you might want to dip, but it's a Bean movie. It's okay. Oh, dude, they got him in chastity. He's a what? They got his bean locked up. Egg. Plot recap. Uh, plot recap. What's up, Sewell? Um, the beans. 
are shooting each other a lot. You got a guy, Killer Bean. He's some kind of mercenary for like, I don't know, secret society organization. Like they're like Fox, they're like Foxhound. And um, there's another guy. This guy's a drug kingpin bean. And that's his lackey behind him. And uh, I don't know, the beans, they, they kept playing their music loud, which caused the killer bean to become angry and massacre a bunch of them. And now they all have beef. There's also a cop bean. He's a detective. He's a hard-boiled bean. And he's like trying to uh, clean up the streets and he wants to, to arrest this guy, but he can't touch him because his lawyers are too good, basically. So the killer bean, uh, maybe the cop is like trying to encourage the killer bean to kill this guy. And uh, he went to the warehouse. They had a big shootout. And now uh, they actually captured the killer bean. And uh, they're going to, I guess, interrogate him. And they're going to um, they're gonna water bean him and stuff. I don't know. Maybe hook up a car battery to his beans. John Wick, if it was good. So. They're going to percolate his ass. What's up, Dustiller? They're going to percolate him. And then he's going to become decaffeinated. This is a great killer bean. <laughs> Cock and bean torture. Yeah. Not a good idea. We should kill him now. What the fuck happened, guys? What happened? This is not a good idea. We should kill him now. You fucked it? I didn't do anything. YouTube being YouTube. I didn't hit a fucking number. Guys! I didn't hit, I didn't touch any button on the keyboard. So, this is a great killer bean. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Way past cool! I'm telling you, he's Sonic coded. <laughs> you attack my warehouses. You kill my beans. What do you want from me? <laughs> oh my god. This is fucking powerful acting. Guns would be nice. You come into my house, you suck my cock, and you call me gay? Enjoy it while it lasts, tough guy. Tough words from a bean who is helpless. A helpless bean. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, you did not. He's flicking the bean. Okay, well, maybe you did. What do you want, killer bean? Who are you working for? What? You expect me to just blurt it all out? My nephew. He got hit in the beans. This hurts the bean. They did surgery on a bean. It was at the Baker Street Warehouse when you attacked it, okay? I think you owe me an explanation. Your nephew? Hmm, your nephew. He was such a good boy. He wanted to be a DJ at some big nightclub. I told him, someday I'll buy you your own nightclub. As long as you sell my drugs there. <laughs> All right, seems like a sweet deal. Yeah, the profit sharing we never agreed on. But you know, he was such a sweet kid. Such a wholesome family dynamic, right? Oh yeah. Then we would have a nightclub and he would invite over uh, Eva Mendez. Yeah, I remember him. He was the one playing the music. He always loved his music. Uh, he's dead now. Kill this bean. He's wasting my time. It's about time. How does it feel to be killed by your own gun? Well, I don't know, dick. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Funny. I was about to ask you the same thing. <laughs> oh, 
Are we done playing games for today? I love the commitment to refer to them as beans as often as possible. Yeah, in case you forget they're beans. This is Cromwell. Roger, Detective Cromwell. I need backup. I'm at 43rd and Main Street. Right away, sir. There's no rush. I got time. Cromwell out. How dare you? How dare you come onto my property? To suck my cock! Looking to kill me! Who do you think you are? Cromwell was straight up jorking it on the roof? Yeah, he was flicking the bean up there, yet, chat? Hate to burst your bubble, cappuccino. Is everyone in this movie a man? Oh my god, holy shit! Killer Bean Forever does not pass the Bechdel test. In fact, it doesn't even come close to passing the Bechdel test. Holy shit! If there- okay, if there was a reverse Bechdel test, this would pass it, right? The reverse Bechdel. What's the reverse Bechdel test? <laughs> the the lead lead chip lead chip test. <laughs> Commander J, thanks for checking out the channel, bud. Catalina had a couple background women. This 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 movie. There hasn't been a single female Bane. No, oh, but I'm not here to kill you. What? There are no girl bossing beans. I'm here to kill him. You just got in my way. It's a fucking Catalina club. A, a Catalina video. The Catalina test. That's what we'll call it. The Catalina test. I don't understand. You want to kill him? No me. What the hell is going on? Just shoot him already. It's complicated. Tuna Newt has a theory. Maybe their species are all men. Like reverse Steven Universe. <laughs> why don't you just beat it? No. I'm quite interested to knowing why. Fine. You want to die too? Believe me, it's no trouble at all. Actually, uh, I think that my estimated tosses are too soon. I like to stay on top of that stuff. Good idea. Why didn't you oh, just kill him anyway? By the way, Megan? You're fired! Holy shit! <laughs> I kinda wanna see the ragdoll again. By the way, Megan? You're fired! Such a good ragdoll, man. The only bargaining chip he had. Yeah. He was literally shat upon. It's about time they sent someone with some talent after me. Yeah, rip the only bean in the movie wearing pants. Nothing but the best for you, Dark Bean. I guess they finally learned it's gonna take the best. What the hell is going on? You were one of the Shadow Agency's top beans. Top beans. Top beans. I used to look up to you. Talk bean! Talk! Now I have to kill you. Why did you betray us, Dark Bean? I didn't betray anyone. The Shadow Agency betrayed me. What? You're the NANI?! One who destroyed our database and stole years of intelligence work. How could you do that? And how could you go from policing the world to running guns for this two-bit gangster? Why did you join the Shadow Agency, Killer Bean? To get rid of the trash in this world. One bullet at a time. <laughs> yeah, we all joined for the same reason. But when I joined the Shadow Agency 12 years ago... Lord Dump. 
it was more clear cut. Our job was to neutralize threats, while the politicians were paralyzed in diplomatic bullshit. That's <clears throat> just the way I like it. Times have changed. The agency was always privately controlled, but originally we always worked with the government to protect our citizens. This conversation feels like it's happening for our benefit, not the characters. Then it all changed. Kojima level storytelling. I'm not sure what caused the shift, but now we're just guns for hire, providing services to the highest bidder. Bad exposition dialogue is one of my biggest pet peeves in life. Like, I can't stand it when exposition dialogue sucks. Like, I, I, like it, I, again, like, some people don't even notice it. Really. Like, some people are just like, like, I, no, what was wrong with that? I don't understand. Now I know that this brother and sister, you know, that their dad died, you know, five years ago and that that's going to be important to the plot. And it's like, yeah, but why did he say it to his sister? Obviously, they both know that. Why would he, why would, why would the brother like randomly say to the sister, hey, remember when our dad died five years ago and he left us the family business? And then the sister would be like, yeah, I sure do remember. Boy, I miss dad. See, that blows. Right. That I can't stand that. What you have to do is you have to have a third character. Who doesn't know that? There's a very easy fucking way to deal with that. You have a character who doesn't know the information. And the, and the person, one of the characters says it to the third character. That's how you do You know, our dad died five years ago and we inherited the business. Oh, that's okay. I know, I know that now. I didn't previously know that. Thank you. The detective is there. Are you you're talking about this scene? They're talking to each other. They don't know the detective. The detective is watching from outside the fucking window. The de detective. They're not aware of the detective's presence. Mike is a master screenwriter. Cock, what I'm saying is, I think, perfectly fucking reasonable. You have a third character who doesn't know this shit. Mike, they're talking to us. We're not a character. We're the audience. Hello? Are you serious? Anyone with the right amount of money can buy the talents of the Shadow Beans. Awesome voice crack. It's funny that he's slowly losing the ability to speak because he speaks for fucking like, you know, I don't know, 35 hours a week. Voice crack. Argument invalid. That was barely a fucking voice crack, you nerds. Drink water. I don't have any water, but this is almost over, and when it's over, I'm probably going to end the stream and go get water, okay? Streaming really is the hardest job. If, if streaming is difficult, it's only in that you have like a thousand goobers constantly trying to fucking be, be being like contrarian to every single syllable that comes out of your mouth constantly. Okay, that's where it's hard. Streamers have it harder than U.S. Marines. Hassan was right. I'm just saying that, yeah, my voice is going to crack sometimes because I, t I speak a lot for my job. And I think making fun of me is fucked up, especially because you like the content. Or, or I mean, I'm assuming you like the content because you're here, right? Did he say that? What it showed. I don't want to talk about how much he sucks right now, okay? Even though I, I, okay, I'll tell you what, I do want to talk about how much he sucks, but I won't, okay? On one mission, I was asked to protect some rich dictator. 
This is this is one of those moments where I'm like, nope, not gonna do that. <laughs> Did you see his Discord complaining? Yep. But we're not gonna talk about that, guys. Okay. Yes. We're gonna we're gonna watch the movie. We're gonna watch the movie. What if he? We're gonna we're gonna watch the movie, guys. Assassinated an opposing leader. It didn't matter what we did. The Shadow Agency always convinced us that what we did was for the right reasons. But before I left, they had me deliver weapons to the very group of beings I had spent several years trying to take down. He is hardcore essaying, dude. That was it for me. Do you expect me to believe any of this? All I know is that you breached the agency's security and stole years of intelligence work. I didn't steal anything. All the information I took was mine. I wasn't about to give up 12 years of sweat and blood. I needed it to continue my work. Yo, these beans sweat? Hey, yo. And exactly. What do you think it smells like? Exactly how does serving cappuccino continue your work? He's a waiter. Cappuccino is a major player in the weapons market. Posing as his lackey puts me on the inside. I can find out who wants what, who sells what, and where the big threats are. But unlike at the Shadow Agency, I can finally kill the beings who deserve to be killed. Was right, was. Get yourself a few more minutes a major of life player. that story, Dark Bean. But you can't out talk my trigger finger. It doesn't matter if you believe me or not. Dude, they need to just fucking make out already. Like, I don't know what... I, why are people shipping... Why are people shipping the the Killer Bean with the with the detective? Obviously, the correct ship is Killer Bean and this guy. This is obviously, obviously. Probably your last mission. If I don't kill you, the Shadow Agency will. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Bean and Tr. <laughs> I'm one of their best Shadow Beans. Why would they want me dead? Three-way? That's the love triangle that that chatter was talking about earlier. <laughs> Any agent that comes in contact with me is compromised. And from what I've been hearing, you've been a liability to the agency since the day you started. His voice acting is so fucking smooth. Seeing the mess you made last night confirms that the Shadow Agency has a hard time controlling you. He reminds me of Lance Reddick. They must know you joined for the same reasons I did. They know it's only a matter of time before you find out the truth about them. You hear it? And if they can't control you now... I mean, I know it's not him, obviously, but... How will they control you when you do find out? It's smarter for them to defuse you now before you become a bigger problem. Like that creaminess. You know that creaminess he's got? If they wanted me dead, then why even send me on this mission? Creaminess. That's how I'm going to put it. There's a creaminess to the voice. You said it yourself. You're one of their best. They tried to kill me before. They sent shadow beans after me twice. They both failed. Think about it, Killer Bean. They want us both dead. And we're hard to kill. Regardless of the outcome. It's round? Remember this mission. The agency gets what they want. Because one of us will be eliminated. No, no, you're lying. I'm not going to believe you. I won't believe a word you say. Man, I wish I was paying attention to that dialogue. Guys, that ragdoll rocked. I'm gonna play it again. I gotta I'm gonna move my webcam because I think it might have been blocking it. It's one of the best ragdolls I've ever seen in my life, guys. You got yourself a few more minutes of life. It doesn't matter about shadowy stood. Oh boy, what did I do? Holy shit. Fuck, there's so much dialogue. Holy shit. It's like a fallout game. One of the because one of us will be eliminated. 
No, no, you're lying. I'm not gonna believe you. I won't believe a word you say. Yeah, I guess the bulletproof vest was f just for funsies. Like, it's not real. Like... Bean out, New Vegas. <laughs> the, the bulletproof vest was just decorative. Watch this ragdoll. Watch, watch. It is fucking S tier ragdoll. S tier ragdoll right there. Holy fuck. <laughs> it's so good. The way the glasses bounce off. Hey, Tuan, thanks for coming to check out my channel tonight. Vats kill confirmed. Fuck, that's good. Oh my god. And he's jiggly. Like, he's so jiggly. Dies of best. Take the shot. I would have done more with my life than you ever will. You see that emote you guys are using? The dies of cringe emote? I feel like that's got to be like one of the work. The, like, not work. It's not a bad ragdoll. It's fucking pretty awesome. Like the way his fucking skull bounces off the concrete. But like. There are so much better ones in this movie. Like, there are so many good ragdolls in this movie. Doesn't matter now. We're both dead beings. Like what fucking? I mean, I mean, like, I I can't think of a movie that has ragdolls like this. Like Gary's mod, you know, <laughs> like. Godspeed, soldier. I mean, God's bean. God's bean, soldier. God's bean. There's the detective fucking peeping in on this and jorking his peanuts. Dispatch. This is Cromwell. Where's my backup? Six Chad says that this is the same actor as the, the character who just died. Squad cars, ETA, three minutes, two special assault units, and five. Give me more. How many, sir? Everyone. How many of you forgot this character existed? Yes. Yes, I am here. Gonna say anything? And who is the target? SIM card hijacked. Phone drop! No, no problem at all. I've always wanted to meet him. I'll call you- Did anybody else think that they were on the phone with each other in this scene? When the job is done. Because that's not what was happening. That was the point? What do you mean that was the point? Like, you're saying we were supposed to think that? It was a fake out. It was a misdirection. 
bait and switch. It was clever. I'm gonna be real. I, I did. It didn't come across as clever to me. It just came across as confusing to me. Maybe that's because I'm stupid. It just came across as like, huh? Wait, what just happened? I. Like, I'm not like, ooh, impressive. Wow, didn't see that twist coming. I'm just like, wait, what? Too much finger family. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. By the way, I think we're going to do some fingy family on Friday. And, uh... Yeah, I think probably um, going to want to talk to FAP about some of the streams that we do in Europe. I mean, like, I'm saying it's Fingy family, but it's going to be more like like this stream, honestly. Um, like, I don't know if there's going to be like, like we're, we're definitely trying to branch out and experiment and do different kinds of uh like content, you know. You might not you might not see Sonic, for example. You know, um I mean, don't worry, most of it will be will be shit. Like there will it will be shit for sure. I have a big backlog of garbage uh, I I want to get through. No more avocados. I don't worry, I will never do that again. Um I also, I'm kind of, I had something else I wanted to talk to you about, and I'm kind of, like, drawing a blank here. In, in, in terms of, like, content stuff. Maybe this segment should be renamed Algo Slop. Maybe, but at the same time, I think that peop people recognize Finger Family as a thing. Like, I think they want like that's that's the household name now even though none of its finger family right finger family fridays the flow's nice yeah i mean like maybe it's even if we don't again <laughs> i don't know it's got the name brand recognition even if it's not actual literal finger family because it won't be. It never was. It never was, by the way. Um, you know generally like what kind of stream it's going to be. Mike's going to sit there. He's going to go on YouTube. And he's going to look at garbage. You know, I mean, we have no idea what kind of garbage it's going to be. But it's going to be garbage. Like, for example, you know what I think we should watch Friday? I think we should watch the video about the um, the college student um, getting naked and watching porn. Remember that? What's it called? What, what is it? The, that's the same, the same YouTube channel, right? Yeah, that shit. Number seven. Yeah, I, I feel we should, we should watch that video. They will kill you. Yeah, they will kill you. Chat's like, wait a minute, what? He's gonna watch a college student naked? No, guys, it's a it's a YouTube video. Number seven, college student gets naked and watches porn. Tampon in steak. Yeah, more of that shit. I love that shit. I love that shit. Seven weirdest things that happened on, on an airplane. Yeah, just remind me on Friday, guys. And then I want to do, again, I, I need to talk to FAP about, like, what we're going to do uh, in Europe. What I want to do tomorrow night, I want to do a stream tomorrow night. I, I asked Frankie Fat Nuts if he wanted to watch that movie with me tomorrow. And he says he didn't answer. Fred, I think Fred's in chat. Yeah, do you want to stream tomorrow night? Do you want to watch that movie tomorrow night? You're down? Cool, 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 cool. 
Cool. Fred, what do you think of my bunny ears, man? Does it make your penis hard or what? What do you think? You like it? Yeah, pretty hot. Pretty hot. Oh, man. I had something else I wanted to... What the fuck? I, I hate being senile. I'm just going to play this shit. You ready to watch this shit, guys? Fred's been rocking a half chub. Fred says, they make you more fuckable, but also make me soft. I'm not above pushing rope, though. <laughs> oh, we're not okay. None of us. None of us are okay. <laughs> Epic. Look how clean and sterile the city is. Guys, if, if you, I'm not kidding. If you go watch the Detective Pikachu videos that I made with my moderators in Gmod, you are going to see so many fucking shots that look, like, that look like this. You would think I watched this before I made those videos. F fucking seriously. Holy shit. It's regular action movie cliches. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, that person's right. It's, it's what I was going for. I was like thinking of tropes and shit, you know. I... Mike is actually Gia. I did write some screenplays when I was younger. They're bad. No, I won't show you them. No, they're cringe fests. It's very, very cringe. Drop your guns! Put them down, now! It's not gonna end like this. Drop your guns! Whoa, 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 easy! Hold your fire! Hey, Jill! Man looks like a weenie. I'm a weenie? Finally brought some backup. You like weenies? Guys, you want to hear something demented about weenies? 7-Eleven is coming out with a new product. This is not a joke as far as I could tell. It's hot dog water. It's, it's hot dog flavored water. Big bite hot dog sparkling water. I I I don't believe it's fake. I, I don't. Um 7 Eleven unveils new hot dog flavored drink. However, the announcement of further details on April 1st have some fans thinking this might be a big prank. With one saying April Fool's joke, but it's a little early. Guys, you can only do April Fool's jokes on April Fool's day, which is the first. So what the fuck's going on? Okay, no, you can't, you can't do this. You can't do this. If you fucking make an April Fool's joke... On a day that's not April Fool's, then guess what? Everybody has the right to hold you to that shit you said. If you said you were going to make hot dog flavored water and it wasn't April 1st, you got to make hot dog flavored water. That's the rule. That's how it is.
Like that, the shareholders are going to be confused. The best April Fool's joke is to actually do the ridiculous thing. You think they're going to go through the, with this? This man's missing a finger, by the way. Tell that to KFC in the KFC console. Man, that thing really exists, huh? This is going to taste so bad. Ugh, I'm fucking gagging thinking about it. Dump ass, it's behind the can. Who the fuck holds a can like this? Tell that to the mac and cheese flavored ice cream. It's gonna taste like butt ass. You know who holds cans like this? People with a finger missing. Hold cans like this. Yeah. You know what I still have in the refrigerator? Those weird sodas. I drank that one soda recently. The peanut butter and jelly flavored one. Pretty damn good. I still have the pumpkin pie soda in the refrigerator. I'm, I'm saving it. I'm savoring it. Lester's fixins. They have to be bad. How long does it take for soda to go bad? Drink it now? You want me to drink it now? I don't feel like getting up. Maybe tomorrow. Or Friday. Months. I mean, I bought it in December. It's March. It might be bad. They have to taste awful, awful from temperature adjustments. Yeah, but it's been in my refrigerator since it got here. My, give it a good butt chug. It'll be fine. Huh? Yeah. Does this satisfy your ego? What do you want, Cromwell? Coming to see if I did your dirty work? Well, he's right over there. Yeah, he's dead all right. But you didn't kill him. He did. What does it matter? You got the results you wanted. Now just step aside and let me buy. I'll let you buy? You're the key to this whole mess. He's if the key I let to everything. You go, I'll never find out about He's the funniest bean we've ever had. The shadow agency or the shadow beans. I can't help you. Why Boof not? the Lester's fixings, you are Mike. Shadow bean, aren't you? Not anymore. Ooh. They're coming after you, aren't they? Don't shoot. Hold your fire. Then why'd you bring them? If you tell me what I need to know, I can protect you. I highly doubt that. I can at least give you a place to stay tonight. Let me help you, Killer Bean. They're gonna have sex. Bean sex, bean sex. Gay bean sex, gay bean sex. Gay bean there sex. nothing you can do that will help me. Mike, all bean sex is gay sex. There's only males. <laughs> Yeah, it is a Catalina verse, yeah. But I do need a quiet place to think. Bean sex confirmed. Confirmed. They're gonna dock bean to bean. 
docking. Do, do people really do that? That's such a stupid concept. Like, does that? That's not real, right? Docking. Please tell me it's not. So stupid. Not exactly what I had in mind, but this will do. Make yourself at home. This will keep you safe for the night. Hell, it'll probably keep us safe too. <laughs> Wishbone says they're gonna lock their head dents. <laughs> He said the thing? This will keep you safe for the night. This will do. Make yourself at home. This will keep you safe for the night. I can't believe they let you let them arrest you, you idiot. Hell, it'll probably keep us safe too. <laughs> I don't plan on staying long. I'll be back in the morning. We have a lot to talk about. <laughs> I'm gay. I've never seen anybody docking who does docking. It's the gay male version of scissoring, mainly a meme. Yeah, that's what I thought. Birdies, guys. I mean, see, obviously. Like to know where to get guns like this. Right. Hey, don't touch that stuff. You know better than that. You're contaminating the evidence. Uh, I don't think we're gonna have a shortage of evidence here. Uh oh. Hit him. Whoa, hold it. This is a crime scene. No one is allowed on the premises. Yeah, nobody ought to know Egg Foo Young here. Ooh, racism. Where is Killer Bean? Killer Bean? We put his ass in the slammer. Wait. Who are you? Let me put it in a language you can understand. Oh, so sorry. No chum in here. You deliver. Wrong place. <laughs> Get your hands in the air. Put them up now. <laughs> you deliver. Wrong place. Wall. <laughs> it's, it's so good with with the music because the music is so serious, right? Like, it, it's such a good juxtaposition. Oh, it's almost the Family Guy death pose. It's close. It's close. Oh, my fucking God. Hey, Mike, you are red. <laughs> Emote TBH? You want an emo to that? It could be like the emote version of shut up, Psh, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Get your hands in the air, put them up now. Now put your hands on your head. Drop to your knees. It, it's so plodding, you know?
Oh, dude. It's a joke. It's a joker moment. It's a joker thing. He's he's going to be exactly where he intends to be. Yep. 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 It's a joker. Remember when the joker did this? Bravo, Vince. Yep. Oh, th this this is the jail cell where it happens. I can see the br the brick on the wall is familiar. Yeah. Yep, that Commander, happens. It happens in that jail cell. Yep. I'm turning in for the night. And I'll be back in the morning. Right, sir. We'll be here when you get back. Excellent. The room where it happens. I hate their what mouths. Yeah, here? Lizzie, their mouths are Just rough. Just some punk bean we caught assaulting an officer. Well, he sure picked the wrong night to do that. Take him in. Downtown to Bean Town. Almost like Yakuza shit right there. It's it's like what do they what do they call it? I right. the fuck you know what is it? <sighs> the heat move. It's a heat move. I mean, like, if he wanted to be in the jail cell with that guy, why didn't they, he's obviously his, he's he's going to kill the killer bean? Why didn't he just let them take him into the fucking jail cell? Take him out! He just needed a ride. Uh, he he could have like walked here. I, I could have took a fucking took a taxi something, you know? Could have took the bus. Bean Town's not walkable, Mike. Yeah? Why are the lights flickering? That's a great question. Mike, you need to unban the word Kino. No. Think donk, think donk, think donk, think donk. Wait, the specific tonal vibration of my gold carbon alloy deagle revolvers, it can't be. It's not Kino, chat. It's Beano. <laughs> These are very nice guns. Mike, take a moment to put that word into Google Translate. What, Kino? We know it means cinema. It means movie. Sure you wanna do Movies. That. We know what it means. You need them more than I do. So you're the bean they sent to kill me. Mm hmm Who are you? 
I am a death bean, assassin from the east. So lazy in bed and stupid. I completed my mission. Why do they want me dead? They don't tell me why. And I don't ask. They decided to kill me the moment they sent me on this mission, didn't they? That's what Dark Bean told me. The lameness makes it funnier? Yeah. The agency knew that once I found out the truth about them, they couldn't trust me. And they were right. Save your breath, Killer Bean. You're going to need it. Don't you know what the Shadow Agency is? Don't you realize how they're using us? I can see you've been brainwashed by Doc Bean. He was a fool. No one Shadow Bean can threaten the agency. Yeah, I still don't know what the fuck Dark Bean said to him. But I'm no Shadow Bean. <laughs> I certainly hope you trained harder than that. <laughs> I love the ragdolls so much. The ragdolls are everything in this movie, dude. The fight choreography is unironically great. Yeah. I'm so invested. I'm so fucking invested. Like it's so it's so brain dead, but I'm so invested. <laughs> Mike, the Killer Bean game is going to be a roguelike that comes out this year. Ningata, thanks for the bits. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Chat was telling me about this game earlier. Yeah, I... I, 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 I obviously, I, yeah, I, at this point, of course I'm going to play it, yeah. A fucking roguelike, huh? I want, again, who's developing it? It's a bean like Toby Fox, the guy who made the movie. Well, he makes games. 
Holy shit. Oh my god, the reversal. <laughs> he learned how to make it. No shit. So much permanent brain damage going on in their beans. You have been a formidable opponent. I am sorry I have to end this game. Guys, this is almost over. When does the when does it happen? When does the You already tried that? I'm like chomping at the bit here, man. Try champing at the bit. That's so stupid. That is so fucking stupid. That is so fucking stupid. That is unbelievably stupid. It, that is unfathomably fucking stupid. Holy shit. It's over. So there's a sequel, huh? Yeah, because th this really didn't come to a satisfying conclusion at, at all. There's another one. Apparently, moist critical a voice acts in the in the in the sequel. Let's watch the sequel. I'm uh, not not now, not tonight, but maybe at some point before this game comes out. Jet Bean, is your mission complete? Jet Bean is dead. Like this guy, who's this guy? Kill Gotta find out who this guy is. I mean, this Bean, I who's this Bean? I learned a lot about the Shadow Agency today. And it's not for me. I quit. Don't be rash. Think about what you are doing. Why don't you come in? We can talk things over. Oh, I'm coming in. But it won't be for talking. He's gonna flick his bean. God, he's so hot. Guys, when I say things like that, I am joking. You know that, right? This will do. Uh, that's uh, that's how that's. I'm trying to be funny, guys. It's not cold. Come on, coward. I'm not attracted to the bean, guys. I'm not. I'm not! He says in bunny ears. Man can't fucking wear bunny ears without everybody getting all up in arms. Unbelievable. What has this fucking country come to? What has this country come to? I ask. Alright, so here's the deal, guys. I want to end this stream on a, a clean, what, like six hours, I think? But before we do, Killer Bean video game trailer. Bro. Sega, hire this man. <laughs> Dude, it looks like Sonic Frontiers. <laughs> Holy shit! 
It has bullet time. So you're telling me the guy learned how to make video games just so he could fucking make this? Like he, that's fucking, that's awesome. And yeah, there's female beans now, yeah. Yeah, there's female beans. He taught himself how to fucking code and like program so he could make this game. That's fucking crazy. The same guy, Jeff, uh, Jeff Liu. This is roguelite? Oh, you got- Yo! Bean Sonas! Yo! Bean Sonas! OC Beans! Dude! No fucking way! Make your own bean, like Sonic Forces. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> it's got the rag dolls. It's got the rag dolls. It would, it would have to have the rag dolls. Yeah. <laughs> Zombies! Yo, zombies. It has like all the vehicles like a GTA game has. There's a mech suit. It's a fucking Metal Gear. <laughs> Metal Gear! Oh, man. Oh, dude, well, I, I absolutely we're playing this. I'm going to go wishlist that shit right now. This says 2024. And here's what you're going to do, chat. You are going to click on these links I'm putting in chat. And you're going to follow me on Twitter. You're going to subscribe to my YouTube channels. And you are going to join my Discord. And get four extra inches on your dick. Uh, as soon as you join. Killer Bean. Coming soon. Add to your wish list. Yeah, it just says 2024. Yeah, we, we have to watch the sequel before we can play this, obviously. Maybe we'll check out the sequel when I get back from Europe. Thanks for the awesome stream. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the subs, the resubs, the bits. There were a fuck ton of gift subs tonight. We had some crazy scam trains tonight. Guys, thank you so much for all the support. And thank you so much for being here, everybody. Really appreciate it. I hope you had as much fun as I did tonight. I had an absolute fucking ball tonight. I'm so glad you could all be here with me. Thank you. Thank you for choosing Jabroni Mike Airlines for your choice in Fecal Funny. Uh, seriously, you guys rule. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and being here. I really appreciate it, everybody. I will see you tomorrow night. So far, the plan is we're going to watch another um, very interesting film tomorrow. Uh, it's some kind of Irish kung fu movie. Yep, I don't, I don't get it either. But we're gonna we're gonna find out tomorrow. Fred's gonna hang out. It'll be a great time. Hope I can see you guys there again. Thank you so much, everyone, for all the support. I hope I can see you tomorrow night. Lots of love, guys. Do <laughs>